go. Hello, I believe we're live. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's us, Hello. the Law Crimes people. Uh, and today, uh, Hal can't be with us today. He's busy doing some kind of outside of the internet stuff that's kind of, uh, ugh, he's got something to do outside of Sheesh. YouTube. Ugh, disgusting. Loser. Ugh. <laughs> um, so it's, we thought we'd take this opportunity because I don't know how much Halo uh hal has played but i i know we've all played some halo we all like a bit of halo and yes we have seen your comment saying let colin do halo law in every <laughs> video we've published since uh since colin mentioned it in one of his videos specifically saying go to the law crime channel and put it in the comments thanks thanks I, colin i Very did not cool. think they would all know in such numbers i did not expect that response mm. i thought it would be one or two that's my bad uh, but also, thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Truly loyal. So today we've got a few Halo-themed uh, tier lists, and uh, to start things off, we'll go for a nice, uh, sh not short, not so much sh short and sweet, but I think this will be a good one for discussion. We've got the Halo games, and this includes some obscure and weird ones. Um, Spartan Strike. Wow. Can we? Uh, <laughs> can I? Can I make a suggestion to change like two of the tiers? Yeah. Uh, the second one from the garbage. Can we yeah. can we switch that to haven't played? Yeah, I like that because uh, there's a few I haven't played. Yeah, and then can we switch? This game shouldn't exist. To just just make it Halo Five. Just fucking make it Halo Five. All right. <laughs> okay, just change yeah. the name of that tier list to Halo Five. Yeah. Absolute garbage. In fact, we'll just put Halo Five. Let's start this off with a bit of vitriol. Why is Halo 5 so bad? Because the campaign is an abortion of gaming, and I, <laughs> I hate it. It's garbage. It's awful. It destroys. I It just sucks. I hate the Warned, the Warned Eternal boss fight. was cool the first time, and then they did yeah. it five million more times. They're like, uh, Let's stretch this out. Why not? I'm sure they, this uh, won't get annoying. <clears throat> no, there, there's more. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> they, they reworked some of the weapons from 4 to be worse. Uh, the multiplayer could have been a saving grace, except Warzone, the big fun, not quite battle royale, but you know, the big like open map with you know that even had NPC enemies. Oh, you had to pay money for a scorpion. Loot boxes locked everything <laughs> that wasn't a basic weapon. That's awesome. That's cool. Sad. I fucking hate it. The multiplayer uh, in mechanics was good, but everything on top of those mechanics was not good. It was shit. Mm. Uh. I remember being like, because I, I, I got the Halo games on launch. So I got the first game just a bit after my birthday, whatever year it came out. And I remember going through it as gaming was evolving and graphics were getting better and mechanics and stuff. And then I got to Halo 4 and I was like, okay, I mean, yeah, well, let's see where they're going. And then 5 came out and then, I, then a part of my soul died. And... Um, <laughs> I've never recovered since. Uh, mm. Eli, have you ever played Halo 5? Nope. Good. <laughs> don't. Good. This is good. Don't this do is it. good. It's bad. Um, Smash or pass Covenant's win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, shall we go Gerald through uh, the rest? No, I'm not. I'm not even going to finish that <laughs> sentence. I'm going to cut that one short. <laughs> uh, let, let's go through chronologically. So, um, Halo Combat Evolved. I would say. Personally, I think Halo Combat Evolved is amazing. I love I, it. I played like 75% of it. I didn't end up getting to finish it, not going to lie. But before I did that, I read the books. So, And it's one Ooh, for one. And I like the book. So the, the Combat Evolved novel adaptation was amazing. You got to see what everyone else was doing that wasn't the Master Chief. Yeah, mm. it was very cool. Oh, here's Hal in the chat. I'm in Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. Good for you. Yeah. Look at this oh. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um, when you could be on lore crimes i know interesting. Disgusting. very interesting <laughs> curious yeah. I, I mean all, all i say is like halo combat evolved it was the template for all halos to follow it completely reinvented the uh the fps genre as we know it it had amazing campaign levels brilliant local back back in the day where you used to link your xboxes together with like a lead mm. And you'd put nice. them on the telly, and you'd have split screen verses. Ah, oh, good times, good times. Um, it also turned uh, every FPS game in the 2000s with even a slightly higher profile than 
nothing was hyped as the Halo killer for 10 years straight. None of them ever oh, were the yeah. Halo killer. The Halo killer would be Halo. But Yeah, Halo 5 was the Halo killer, I believe. Um... Uh, <laughs> but uh, every game was like, this is the Halo killer, and then it would be worse than Halo without fault, including Fire Warrior that was hyped Oh, up. yeah. Only yeah, because was it was... Really... A... It was what he like. I was I'm just surprised that that was on that list of. <laughs> they, seen, they I've seen gameplay like, yeah, where they were like, hey, dude, like the market was like, it's fucking better than Halo. And then uh, <laughs> yeah, and then, then it wasn't. Oh yeah, uh, that is Mandalore Gaming though. made a banging book or banger video about it. It's quiet. <laughs> oh, I've just googled Halo killers. There's like Haze for the PS3. I remember. Who that remembers game. Haze? I don't. <laughs> Is I'm too, like I'm too he, young for this. Corn did the theme song, and it was like a guy with a yellow helmet, and he did like drugs called nectar, I think it was. And then you're like, I'm part of the nectar warriors, and then you kill everyone, and then halfway through the game, you're like, I think we're the bad guys, and you turn against <laughs> uh, kill zone, a really mid FPS. I know there's a lot of people who are like I'm a PlayStation guy, I love kill kill zones pretty pretty mid. I've never liked Killzone. Yeah. I've tried all the kill zones and they're all a bit meh. Um, uh, what are what are the bad guys? Their armor goes hard, but it's uh, about all I know about Killzone. Like, it's like what if like the the <laughs> Nazis in space, basically? Some I don't know, something like that. All I know yeah. is all I know about the overarching plot is that apparently everyone in Killzone just kind of sucks. Yeah, like they the, the the enemy faction grew up on like a radiated planet, so they hate everyone, and that's kind of their thing. And you're like, I get you're a bit annoyed about that, but now you've literally just become evil fascist super soldier men. I have no sympathy for your radiation plight. This is like the Necrons all over again. I'm not I'm not buying it. <laughs> I don't feel that um, bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. what a shame. Anyway. Um, I think the only thing keeping CE out of Godly is the library. Oh, I love the library. It's great. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's, a, it's like it's like a proper good level. Cause it's, is oh, it? Gray, oh, gray yeah. walls. It's like, wonderful. what if, what if dude, well, it's, it's, it's like, hey, we're going to throw everything at you at once and you get all the weapons practically in the game and it's all about some of the, some of the sections. It's about trying to like rush past other ones it's you have to exterminate everything and yeah i really like the library and I'm, I'm, maybe just because i played halo one so many times i'm used to it i, I mean know. i mean i get i i'm just saying i don't like turning a corner and there's three combat forms with rocket launchers i i'm not a fan <laughs> i'm not a fan i don't know that's the halo experience rocket surely. flood my beloved kitty von yeah. <laughs> they get it they get it it's a pin right there that's a pin from me uh okay well before this becomes a rant about the library um halo 2 i'm gonna i'm gonna say some controversial and i think it should Ooh. only be great Sheesh. great I, I don't know Halo Swing 2 multi Halo 2 multiplayer. I don't like. I do not like however the networking works. I feel like my bullets they just do not work, <laughs> which I know is now I, it's skill issue. I didn't even have time to say it and I saw the stats <laughs> skill issue. I do I do not like like the net coding or whatever they did for Halo 2's multiplayer because the SMG feels like I see the little fucking shield blinking when I'm shooting them and then it just doesn't look like the shield's going down and a whole clip goes in. I'm like, man, I'm sure I'm glad I loaded this multiplayer matchup. Mm. Uh, it just it just feels a bit too dated, the multiplayer. Yeah. Campaign's, campaign also ended on one of the most atrocious cliffhangers in gaming <laughs> yeah. history. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, a fair I, point. As someone who just played the campaign like a few months ago, and now I have access to Halo 3 whenever I desire, it, it felt pretty. it felt pretty godly. But I, I mean, no, people it, were very frustrated back in the day. In the day that I obviously now, you know, there's several more Halo games out since then. It doesn't matter as much. Mm -hmm. Matter. Well, all right. Uh, but <laughs> like it, it's good. I think it's great. I think it's great. But between the cliffhanger ending, I just don't like the multiplayer <laughs> uh, compared to the other ones, even CE. Uh, right. And the hmm. the boulevard of jackal snipers on legendary is oh yeah the best the way to make you want to say like just very bad words about the covenant yeah like the aimbot sniper jackals is one hit kill on somebody somebody says based hal as usual okay you he 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 fixed it never mind. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Um, although I would say, like, <laughs> here's a question: What are your opinions on dual wielding? Oh, I mean, that's the, great. I thought it was neat. It was cool. I'm mm. saying, like, I will. I'll fully admit the reason I don't think it's amazing or godly is entirely the multiplayer and the ending. Right. And a little bit of the Jackal Snipers, but that kind of loops back around to being funny. That's somewhat mitigated by Sergeant Johnson being a badass. I, that's true. That where it, when you take the sniper rifle off him on like, the new Mombasa level, he's just like, I thought we were friends. And you're like, oh. I, I, you <laughs> I know do what think, I think Halo 2 has the best lines, the best oh, yeah. voice lines in all I, of yeah, I, I do think solely for yeah, I know humanity. what the ladies like. We I think I'm going to. being alien bastards. And that. <laughs> and and, and the, uh, the remaster of it was fucking incredible. Mm. Yeah, uh, is that another one though? Big. Is that separate down below? Like, do the remasters um, have their own box? Not okay, they that don't. I don't see. So. No. All right. Well, Nick. All right. I, th I... I think I've talked myself into making it amazing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah I agree. Yeah. There were some of the levels Breaking in the Benjamin campaign type. that I didn't really enjoy. Yeah. Like the uh, there's a lot of like tower defense levels when you were playing as the arbiter, and that was not very fun. But everything the else brute... was awesome. I did not find the brutes very fun to fight either. <laughs> I mean, they're quite easy compared to the elites as well, because they they have the tiny little helmets. We just go, pap pap. Oh, he's dead. Pap pap. Oh, he's dead. It's, and and like, Halo is a headshot shooter. It's like if you can get the hang of shooting them in the head, it's like mm. the the elites are pretty much the only threat that's annoying because of the shields. But the other thing about Halo Two is it has the boss fights, and they're pretty mid. Um, they were pretty goofy. Which uh, boss yeah. fights? Punching, punching oh, the. Uh, Tartarus. The I know there's Tartarus. Tartarus or whatever. You can just oh yeah, in, that was pretty funny. And you punch to death the prophet <laughs> of. I Regret. totally forgot about the prophet of Regret. Yeah. <laughs> and then that there's the <laughs> um, the elite who goes like into multiple forms and stuff. Oh man, a super the soldier in the, in the prime of his <laughs> life and career beats the shit out of an elderly <laughs> old man in a chair in a floating chair. <laughs> oh, some of the missions in that game are like the best in any game I've ever played, though. They're super mm. cool. I do or like the bit as well when you also like drop in uh, with the ODS team. It's like, can we make, can we possibly make, we make any, more, any noise? more noise? And you pull out the rocket launcher, like, all right, we can. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is the best thing ever. And especially it's yeah. like, what, 16 year old me, like, this is the peak of my life. Right. You now. know what? That's, that's <laughs> fair. I've talked myself to amazing. I, 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 on a personal list, I would probably still put it great, but uh, for for the lore crimes, I can. I'm not against a maze. Well, it should stay about, behind CE though. What about Halo Three? Halo Three. Uh, I played God, half of it when I was a little kid, and I haven't. I have unfortunately, I must confess, not played it again. Ooh. It's my. I'm gonna play it after ODST whenever I end up well, playing that. Godly, so Colin. You said godly. Could you explain why godly. godly? Why it's, godly? It's got. I just feel like it's got the best of just about almost everything in the series. It is dual wielding, still from Halo Two. Uh, the uh, though not you know, with the needler because that's too overpowered. <laughs> not with the needler. Well, yeah, that that's a bit much. They did make the needler a bit stronger though to compensate yeah. no more dual yeah. wielding. So that's good. Uh, it's got the equipment. You know, bubble shield, my beloved. Uh, you know, the trip mine. What I trip mine wasn't always super useful, but it was funny in multiplayer whenever you mm. pulled it off and some idiot walked on top of it. Uh, what I just the game the gameplay just flowed so well for me. I loved it. I will admit there is a lot of nostalgia here. It was my first Halo game. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the flood are properly terrifying, especially because now you can they can infect people. They're still alive, so you can see Marines just freaking out as they join the flood. Uh, that was great. Uh, you could team up with the elites, not just play as the Arbiter. You team up with the elites. That's pretty cool. If you shoot one of them, they ask, was this because of Reach? Which is really funny. <laughs> uh, and also, kind of fucking dark. Mm. Uh, I must admit, I really don't like the campaign compared to the others. What do you, which is really? a hot take. Yeah, I mean, I got a, here's the thing, right? Playing Halo 3, I remember the like first few levels. They're all in like broken earth. So the environments are really boring. Like the bit hmm. where you're on the beach and the mongoose is shooting the scarab, and it's just like, oh, it's just like a beach. And then there's the bit where you drive around the warthog, and it's just like, oh, it's it's just like a highway. And there's and dude, there's Savo Highway was awesome. That level was <laughs> awesome. You were finding the race, you were finding the brutes on the choppers, and everything. The combat's fine. It's just like I just found like the environments are a bit dull in comparison to some of the stuff in the earlier games. Like again, like the first game where you have that big 
outstretching halo ring environments and then you get the snowy area and then you get like the lib like well, the library's a bit dull but like you get like the forerunner <laughs> technology stuff whereas like free is just a bit like oh it's i really like the the re the return to the halo ce level where it's in the uh the snowy uh like final bit where you're going up to the control room with johnson and everything that's yeah. brilliant but like other than that even that bit where you're in the, when you're in the jungle at the beginning and it's just like oh it's just like a jungle i i, I feel like we're looking the at the same thing bit. and getting complete different reactions out of and it then you're in I... an underground base and you're like oh it's an underground base yeah that's like cool because you in... never you're never you know, like... in unsc facilities otherwise yeah but two you're in the 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 mac cannon thing with the big yeah, elevators yeah, cool. and, and you've got the nice vistas outside with the planets and you see them getting blown up and you're like oh this is cool and then free i don't know there's something about free where i, I play the campaign i'm like i like the the mechanics and everything but the environments are so bloody dull i don't know what yeah, it is there's so many cool moments you remember like you get to return to high charity and see it all flood infested i like yeah. that bit in the crow's nest level where it's like you see the marine he's got blindfolds on he can't even see <laughs> see anything but when he hears the master chiefs around he's like holy shit we won we're good fellas this is it we don't need to worry chiefs here mm, uh it's the it. only halo game i think we're in multiplayer you get like different skins yeah he's like and i don't like free. it <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, donation. Yeah, do you want to say who it is? Sure. Like? Thank you, Lee Lao uh, Rio. Don't know if I said your name wrong for the $28. Is that Australia? Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, morning, lads. Some of my best gaming moments happened in Halo. The multiplayer was so good for it for its time. I got a 51 kill streak and captured <laughs> the flag in Halo 3. I peaked then, and it's been all downhill since then. <laughs> Jeez. Well, thank man. you. Thank you for the monies, nice. my friend. I I have not gotten a fifty one kill streak. That's quite the achievement. Oh, speaking of Halo Three, you know something that really peeved me. You know, there's that um, medal you can get. I think it's called Perfection, where you get yes. is it twenty five kills and no deaths, something like that. I don't know what it is in three. I think that's what it is in three. But I remember I I, I accomplished that feat in SWAT. But if you do it in SWAT, it doesn't count, so you don't get the medal. And I remember mm. finishing the match, and I got something like 27 kills and no deaths. 15 and like, kills and without die. At least 15 and, and don't oh, die. Oh, yeah, something like that. And I was like, oh, I should get the medal, and I didn't. And I was That like, happened oh, to me in oh. Reach with snipers, and I was so oh. fucking angry. <laughs> yeah. Especially because I was like 13. This was my prime nothing but Halo gaming all day days. And it's like, oh, I didn't get this medal was worth more to me than most of my friends, and I didn't get it. <laughs> And the, and the thing, I, I, I think it was because it was like a capture the flag map, and because maybe the score was based on flags, not on kills, that's why it didn't work or something. Mm. And I was so pissed off. I was like, I did so well! And it's on that one with the the targets. Uh, what's that one? Where it's like loads of crates, and it's like yellowy. Oh. And I know, I know what you're talking about. Either side. I can't remember what's called that map. And I was just there with like my mates just being like doing the whole duck shooting like this. Mm -hmm. So your head's bobbing up and down so they can't quite hit you. Ah, glorious. Um, just saying. Yeah. You, get to fin you finish the fight. Cool Arbiter voice lines. Were it so easy? That goes so hard. Good to see just everyone's at their coolest. Ridus Vida. Yeah. Dude, he glasses half of Africa and doesn't feel bad. Mm. Very, very. <laughs> Seeing Thank the Arbiter you. kill the, the Prophet with his energy sword is cool. And then the Flood going, hey, I'm going to betray you. But you didn't see that coming. He's like, kind of did. Um, <laughs> we we did. <laughs> and uh, Keith David is a national treasure, so he was brilliant of course. as the Arbiter. Welcome and, uh, to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, and uh, multiplayer was peak. Hmm. I The first proper don't, don't Xbox fight me on Live that. game. First time I played a, a, an online FPS. Mine was actually COD 2. No, my first multiplayer game was a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen adaptation. <laughs> nice. Best uh, best Michael Bay Transformers movie. It was so bad. Mm. Oh. But but it had a cool fight. Oh, and can we also just mention that the trailers were amazing, like the the one with the miniature or the, the models. Oh, yeah. Was, was the, that like... The, the, uh, what's it? The Believe trailer was it? With the it piano? was Believe, I, I that, think, dude. or like oh Remember Hope or something like that. The Believe, so yeah, the good. Believe series that like gets me in the feels, and I didn't even live. I wasn't even sentient, <laughs> dude. Like, yeah, I mean, imagine, imagine how I felt like seeing it on television, being like, I sometimes oh I God. wish I was just I was born five years <clears throat> earlier so I could live through the gaming renaissance <laughs> era. Oh, it, honestly, it was it beautiful. Ruined. Yeah, I like that. 
I remember still the the time where I was visiting family and it was my aunt and my mum and my cousins seeing the Xbox trailer, uh, the the like the Xbox system uh, advertisement where it's the woman <laughs> giving birth and she shoots the the kid. And it flies out the window. And as he's rocketing across the sky, he ages rapidly, screaming. Then he crashes into his tombstone. And then it just says, life is short. Buy an Xbox. Like, that was brilliant. <laughs> they were like, that was yes, so disgusting. The and they had, awesome to, they had to take that off the television because it was just like, nah, we can't. We can't put that. I was ever, but I remember like, this is brilliant. This is a great Dang. time to be alive. I've seen the wacky um, PlayStation ads as well. Oh, oh yeah. Man. With the the weeping baby and freaky. stuff. Oh. Mm. so yeah all in all godly is befitting of halo 3 even though i have some issues with it but um mm-hmm. yeah halo odst oh i, I love this. i feel like i'm either. gonna i'm gonna repeat myself and just say godly i mean yeah i the, love the, halo the, ODST. The, the the saxophone just like me oh, for real for real i listen to that while i play endless space too <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack's amazing i like the characters uh i will admit uh, a book that will go unnamed soured me a little bit on uh, Mickey. Oh, yeah. Uh, but aside from that, aside from that tr- character assassination, <laughs> uh, it was it was great. Uh, it was cool not being a Spartan. You got to go through the ruins of a new Mombasa and like, damn, this is what it's like when you're not the Master Chief. It really <laughs> sucks to live in this universe <laughs> or be anyone that's not a Spartan. <clears throat> Makes sense. It sucks to be a Spartan. Yeah, and, and it's fun fun fact. Uh, I think all the cast of the uh, the main characters in it are all from the Firefly series, which is quite cool. Oh shit! Um, so yeah, so like, uh, cool. is it Dutch? He's um, so you got obviously, obviously Nathan, Nathan Fillion is Dutch, and you got Butch is uh, the guy who played Jane. Uh, I can't remember his name. And I think Alan Tudyk is possibly Mickey. Like, yeah, all, all those guys are from mm. the Firefly series because they were massive fans of the show. Um, but yeah. The the atmosphere, fo- like firefight. Oh, I enjoyed firefight. That was a great. Scene. Was it firefight? The horde mode that was in the game. Oh yeah, that was the first game with a firefight. Yeah, it was fun. Reach definitely made it a lot better, but it was uh, it was good groundwork. Hmm. Uh, also, uh, the yeah. trailers were peak. I love that trailers. one with the um, is it the Welsh vocals? And it's just uh, I think it's again Dutch. Touch or butch. He's just like it's, it's that thing where he just drops in. It's live action. He's fighting the brutes, and then they're just like he, he crash lands, and then he shoots and he gets smacked down. He shoots a pistol and it blows up a thing and it kills them. And then they've got like the broken helmet on the gun, and mm. they're, they're oh, sitting around these. a campfire. Yeah, yeah, that trailer is also <laughs> chef's kiss. I think is it also this that this like the Halo Three onwards they had a a tendency to do live action trailers. Yeah. Um, and they were just donation. Uh, call him. Uh, sure, Geek Freak. Thank you for the ten dollars, Geek Freak. Dear humanity, <laughs> we regret being alien bastards. We regret we coming to Earth. Earth. We must definitely regret that the core That's just blew up a raggedy ass fleet. Ooh, uh. Johnson makes me patriotic <laughs> to be human. Real, mm-hmm. so real. I want to kill Covenant if, scum. If Sergeant Johnson has one fan, I'm one of them. <laughs> he has no fans. I'm dead. That's right. <laughs> Have you ever seen the lore accurate Sergeant Johnson videos? And it's him just swearing. <laughs> I've not. Good. I've seen him. Uh, I've seen lore accurate Master Chief, where someone flies at Mach <laughs> ten at a out of a banshee. <laughs> Those are always fun. Johnson's a Spartan. Fun fact. Whoa. He's like the proto He's a Spartan, Spartan one. Yeah. Really? What are they what are they called? They're what? called. Um... They were Project Orion, is what it was Orion, first called, but the they one. retroactively named it the Spartan One Project. Because wasn't it like? They were like, we want to make Spartans. So they took actual adults. They took, they yeah, they like, took oh, soldiers from like volunteers. Volunteers not, too. Not they didn't kidnap anyone children. this time around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it was like these, like these are these are good soldiers, but we need we need great soldiers. This is this isn't enough. Also, mm-hmm. some of their DNA melted uh, yeah. over time. <laughs> but it also is like a convenient way to be like, oh, he that's why he can survive the first Halo game, and he's also a badass because he's actually. Like it's like a mini got Spartan. Some, some, is that new? Got some secret DNA tampering to make him even more badass. Like, oh, it's fine. Is that new? Or is that, was it always was. like that? It was. I mean, obviously, I, obviously, I don't know about CE, but I, I, I at least as long as I remembered Halo, like that's huh. been 
I think so, it was a case of like they they brought him back for two, and they must have thought, oh, we gotta we explain need, this. We gotta explain like I like sure he's got loads of charisma and he's a badass, but we need another reason why he can survive. <laughs> I like the first <laughs> reasons. I like the first reasons. I just said he's an epic human and he's yeah, he just wins yeah. all the time. I like yeah. that. <laughs> It was uh yeah I, like at least it was like that at least no later than like I think honestly before Reach, hmm. like that's not new. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, OD ODST godly. Yeah. Uh, um, especially the uh, you rescue you find the friendly engineer. Uh, I will admit I failed to I think ever get that achievement for oh my bad. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I failed to ever get that achievement. Where you didn't kill any engineers because the reticle oh. was red, which means they were dead. <laughs> oh, poor guys! I don't, I, remember, I don't make, I don't make the rules. I remember doing my first playthrough and I was blowing them up, and then I was just like, "Oh no, it's a friendly one." And so then I did that. Just out of guilt, I had to do another playthrough. Mm. Like, sorry guys, uh, but that's the thing. You, I completely forgot they existed until you just brought them up again. I was like, "Oh yeah, engineers, I remember that." It's because they didn't. Re- they were just kind of slaves. Yeah, wasn't great. It was like, oh. Covenant. I've got loads of species, including these weird gooby squid people. Hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, what's next on this list? Uh, Halo. I think Halo, Ooh, Wars Halo Wars would Chase. actually be next. Ooh, is it Halo Wars? Halo Wars yeah, Halo Wars awesome. came up before Reach. Uh, I haven't played it for years, yeah. but I liked it when I did. And the cutscenes oh. are really cool. Oh, yeah. I would say amazing or great, depending on how you guys feel about it. Uh, mm. There are some things that let it down. Some things are not very well balanced. Uh, flamethrowers on the UNSC side <laughs> completely melt. That is assuming they get within the prerequisite six inches of the enemy unit to <laughs> melt them. Uh, yeah. Which if your opponent has any number of jackals, they will not. Uh, and will get shot before they can be useful. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there's but... some balancing issues. But it's very fun. It's a very good uh, RTS game. Hmm. I mean, you know more uh, than Burning me, Sunshine. So... Sure. Burning sunshine, that cutscene, three Spartans murdering honor guard. That was the coolest Ooh. thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Sergeant Forge was awesome. Andrews was awesome. Captain Cutter was awesome. Yep. Uh, you got to see an arbiter that wasn't the the Halo Tooth that wasn't Thel. Hmm. Uh, very cool. Oh, I've got, we got a five dollar <clears throat> donation from Nick Swan oh, saying, you. "Okay, Halo Two is just way better than ODST. This is some biased tier list." <laughs> I, I haven't played ODST. I, 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 so I disagree. I, I disagree. Heavily. I disagree as well. I disagree. Halo ODST is go fantastic. go throw on the piano. Go throw on the piano and the saxophone, <laughs> and you will change your tune. I yeah. will say Halo Two did have Breaking Benjamin though, and that was oh, peak that's 2000s. so awesome. Peak two thousands uh, energy. Okay. Halo, Halo it was Two had Steve Vai on the uh, the ending theme. I remember the, the when I finished Halo Two the first time, and then it had the Gregorian Gregorian chart, and then I just heard that. I was like, "What is that?" And then I was like, "Wait, is that Steve Vai on guitar? Is that Steve? Oh, oh my God, man. it's Steve Vai!" It's look, so I just, awesome. Look, I'll explain myself again. I, I think Halo Two <laughs> multiplayer is not good. Yeah, I don't like I, it. I didn't yeah. play the multiplayer because I don't. I'm bad at. I'm bad at uh, shooting games. They so they, they the remade. <laughs> <laughs> they they made it. You know, obviously, Master Chief Collection. You can play it again. Mm. Problem is, I think they have the same. Like it's running on the same fucking Xbox One original servers as it was. Yeah. From all the way back then, I hate it. I don't like yeah. Halo Two multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and again, certain weapon combinations like dual needlers just made it really unbalanced <clears throat> and annoying as hell. Um. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Halo Wars. I absolutely adore Halo Wars. I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, uh, the either one or two, just because it's like the the two most important shooters, arguably of all time, but definitely of like the last few decades. Mm-hmm. I know I know Half Life fans are going to be like, "Excuse me." Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love the the cutscenes, which is by I think it's by the same studio that did the recent Pariah Nexus um, cutscene um, cinematics. Is it Blink Studios? I think. <clears throat> that sounds right. Um, Blink Studio. I think it's Blink Studios, uh, where they did all the cinematics, and they look absolutely gorgeous, and everything they ever do looks gorgeous. Um, I love the characters, and again, like you said, uh, what, what were the names of the free Spartans you had? Oh, one uh, of. Oh God, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. this. Yeah, I was like Alice. I'm it was like, red. No, Alice it, is... was, it was red team. I think one of them yeah. was Alice. Was it Alice? Or am I yeah, it was, one them? of them was definitely Alice. It, yeah, it was Alice, Jerome, and Douglas. Yes, and Doug gets hurt in Halo Two, and it made it made me sad. And like, no, don't hurt Dougie. 
Jerome also, uh, in a comic, beats a flood form over the head with a folding chair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. But, or no, Jerome. Yeah, like, just, just like the, the bit where they're... I think it's, yeah, possibly Douglas does that whole, like, he jump, he when they're fighting them, the, the elite honor guard on the bridge, and he, like, flips over them with the Uzi, uh, the, the machine pistols goes... Just absolutely brilliant character oh right? yeah and forge is also badass you captain know, he's just like hey i'm gonna trick this elite and yeah shank him in the neck because that's what i do <laughs> captain fire spitter donated 10 uh pounds i think that is thank you sir uh halo oh, wars man. upgraded grunt swarm enough said and gave rise to yap yap the destroyer <laughs> <laughs> plus flood swarms were quite fun too i think that's thank my biggest think. problem with halo wars that is that you couldn't play the flood mm. it would have been so cool but you can't that sounds yeah cool. But I, I suppose the trick for you would be like, how are you gonna? What's your commander gonna be? Uh, oh, it's hive mind, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you, you could have made some stuff up for it, like you know. I mean, the Tyranids are a hive mind too, but you can play the Swarm Lord. Hmm. I guess so. Um. But yeah. I. I. It was. It was a nice change of pace because I think, as, especially when it came out, I remember a lot of people being like, "Oh, they're trying to do an RTS. This will be shit." And then I was like, "Oh, actually, it's quite it's good. Pretty damn good." How did they do that? that that's illegal. <laughs> you can't do that. You make FPSs. Although I think it was a different studio who made it. I, I, I found the pick of Jerome beating a flood nice. form over the head and uh, <laughs> put it in general. Nice. This is very, favorite. very funny. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, but before I I'll see if I can open that so that everyone can see it. Um, but while, what's the next one after that then? So we got. I think that would then be Reach. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm once mm -hmm. again. This is my this is my favorite Halo game. This would be top mm. of god tier for me. Uh, it, it, Crimson it, it Glory. Was, it was my thank you, Crimson Glory. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you for the 1999. <laughs> nice. My first sci-fi love before 40k. Good man. Nice. Same here. <laughs> Also, as Dr. Halsey, the Halo universe of Call, uh, they both kidnapped children <laughs> and turned them into super soldiers. I guess so. Uh, I mean, it, it checks out. I'm going to say no because Dr. Katherine Halsey sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Reach was uh, do my, not like her. Reach was my first Halo game that I really played through as a kid. And I the characters are very iconic. I think every you everyone has their favorite character. And Cat getting shot in the head is a funny meme now. So I mean <laughs> <laughs> She did rip not George. get a good death. She did not get a good death. <laughs> Fucking all rip George though. Every Just death in that game was glorious except for Cat's. Poorly. Just share that picture you sent me. Uh, I'll find it. <laughs> I'm also Halo Reach had the best multiplayer too. I'm gonna say it. Mm, I did. Yeah, I that was also one that I played a lot. The maps were great. Forge World Here's was five maps of, um, in one. <laughs> chair. There it is. I have to share the chair. Before Loud and clear. Before. What's wrong, Serena? <laughs> <clears throat> and then the the last mission of Reach is iconic. You can't mm. go wrong with it. It's awesome. And you feel so alone and so sad in that game. For like yeah. half for half of it, once your entire team just dies. Yeah. Other and it doesn't that. it doesn't ape what ODST did as well, where it's just like, oh, you're underpowered and you're lonely because you haven't got any friends. It's like, no, you are the power fantasy, but even the power fantasy has limits when you're not mm -hmm. a named character. Um, and especially even the named characters have other... limits. Yeah. Well, it's true. Um, but even that bit where you see all the like dead Spartans around, the... and and am I right in thinking that? There was a thing where they actually used other players' Spartans as the characters you saw in like ones you played. They, if you played it, I can't cool. remember exactly I, what it was, but I, I think I they might like have in like, the original Reach. I don't yeah. know if they did brought that back for the MCC, but I do remember reading that for the original one. Because I'm sure there was a thing where it was like if you interacted with players through multiplayer or just recently added ones to the server, they added them as like the corpses. So it made it feel like, oh, there's actually like <coughs> dead players in the. Oh, that's yeah. creepy. <coughs> and who's, um, uh, who's your favorite sorry? noble team member? Um, I feel like you told me it was Carter, Andy. Yeah, I think that Carter like is Andy still pick. my my go-to because he's especially that way he goes out. It's like, <laughs> get the job done, see ya, and he just smashes it to the scab. Yeah. Like, I've yes, I've got uh, the mask. <laughs> uh i think i think i like june the most 
I think I mm-hmm. I like the way I he lives. He's like the one who lives. <laughs> he, he realized he was in a he was he was in a prequel, and he's like, I'm uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving before I can get yeah. killed. I also like uh, when Carter is like, whatever you do, make sure that she doesn't fall into enemy hands, uh, Catherine yeah. Halsey, with the not at all subtle uh, implication that if you're captured, put a bullet in her head. <laughs> which uh, I kind of wish he did. I kind of wish they got captured. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. This is this, I like this game. Pick. I feel like the obvious pick everyone would pick is is it is it Jerome? The guy with the big kukri and knife? George. George. Oh no, that's George. a genius. Emil. Emil. Yeah, that was my that was my pick when I was a little kid. The edgy, quiet uh, dude. He, guy he was the helmet. The peak, of course, peak two thousand shooter guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he goes out. He's such a badass when he dies too. He gets freaking ran through and then still kills him. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. I think realistically, nope. my favorite one would be George nowadays, but Emil has a special yeah. place in my heart. F for George, June, uh, no June also was an empty vacuum of space for a bit in one of the books and lived. Mm. Doesn't he die in one of the books, though? I don't think he dies. I, I thought there was a thing where I read he's protecting Halsey in a book after Reach, and then he dies protecting her? I think that might have been Kurt. Uh, Spartan oh. 2. <coughs> Because hmm. that does happen. Oh, is that is, is that in is that in uh, Ghosts of Onyx? Because that's a tearjerker. Oh man. Oh, oh it, I believe that was. That... Uh... Oh, June is still alive. Apparently, according to Coolest yeah. Ron, he's still alive. Ghosts of Onyx. Really, if really I'm coughing too much, I'm sorry. Sad. I'm still a bit ill. Mm. Uh, is my favorite. Nick Swanson based. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's cool because it's the only Halo game. It's like, oh, this is what the Covenant War is like if you are not the Master Chief. It yeah, sucks. Yeah. We are dropping yeah. like flies. I also like how it's it's the only game where you get to fight the Covenant when they're not fractured. Like, there's act, there's mm-hmm. there's Brutes, there's Elites, there's everything. Oh, yeah. All it's like, this the, is the, the whole cool. might. Yeah, and the, every other game, it's like, oh, the brutes are against the elites, and the and, and then there's all the newer character, uh, newer models they put in, like the um, the buggers. I can't remember what they're actually called, but the ones drones. that Thompson calls buggers, drones. Oh yeah, uh, the, the the creatively named drones. Um, <laughs> the Yanmei. <prefer> <clears throat> um, yeah, and it, it's just like great, great themes. That bit where Cat just gets shot out of nowhere made me cry. <laughs> Like, oh my god, what the fuck? It was sad, but also nowadays it's funny because it's been yes. mean now. <laughs> yeah. I can't I can't see that scene anymore without like inserting in my head the Eric Andre will be right back. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, especially like when it was first out and you're just playing, you're like, oh it's it's getting kind of bleak. But oh my and it was just that moment of like, oh, even the way it's shot where um it's all like low angle shots looking up at the sniper on the mm-hmm. ship. And then the, the the Spartans, as they're shooting back, it's all like on a low angle. So it shows mm-hmm. that they're no longer empowered and they're carrying her body with like the the, the shot with all the flames in the background. You're like, oh, mm-hmm. no, I mm-hmm. know where this is going. <laughs> this planet um, is fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great but, tagline um, from the beginning, you know the end. <laughs> Peak. Uh, right. Uh, I want to say, hmm, which of these comes out next? Is it Spartan Assault? I think Halo Four, because Spartan Halo Assault comes the, is like with, okay. the Sp- with the Spartan Fours. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'd put it in good. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I know I a lot of people. The multiplayer th- when I was a kid. Multiplayer hmm. was good. I liked you got to see the Forerunners. I know a lot of people hate hmm. the retcon of humans not actually being the Forerunners anymore. I personally mm-hmm. did not like it that humans were the true forerunner, like that ancient humanity was the forerunners. I was never a fan of that. Mm. I uh, I know that's mm. uh, some Halo people might not like that, but I I prefer the forerunners being their own race. Mm. Yeah, I don't know it's it's the score is really good. I like the yes. music. The weapons feel pretty good. Some of the new stuff's interesting, but it's just like oh, it's. How do you how do you follow up from five incredible games with like three ama- an amazing trilogy and two amazing spin-offs? Like there was no way they could have done what Bungie did with the series. And it was no, like, oh, it, we're going to take it, it in a new direction. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. And I think I they did play good. It and I was like, like mm. I like the beginning. They did. They did start the ship and whatever. They did that was fine. fine. Yeah. 
Exactly. I mean, the, the biggest gripe I have about four is I hate the new armor. I hate the new Mark VI. <laughs> oh yeah, Mjolnir armor. Why did they do that? They went nano machines, motherfucker. He had no nano machines on the pillar of bottom. <laughs> yeah. He had Cortana. Nano yeah. He's in like the stasis pod, and then all of a sudden it's just like, "Hey, John, why you woke up? I've done some redecorating." Like, Cortana, <laughs> what the? F- what is going on? What is this fit? It's abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> what is with these weird shoulder pads? <laughs> they look like I look like I've been kit bashed. What is this? <laughs> Uh, no, I, th- I thought it was good. I think I like the ending, honestly, where it's like, hey, look, now it's humanity's time to shine. Covenant War's over. We're hmm. we're on the up and up. Uh, it, it was solid. And then followed up by Halo 5, which was not hmm. solid. It was Halo 5. Oh, hmm. There we go. We've got a $20 donation from Trezin. Thank you. The didact, <laughs> the didact looks more like a fish person than the Tau. <laughs> True. He is bad he- fish man. And he's a weird antagonist as well. He's like, I'm the general of the Forerunners, and I'm so powerful, blah, blah. And I'm like, bang, bang, you die like all the rest. And he has like, <laughs> and, and this, I really don't like the cutscenes in that game as well. Because <clears throat> like, they take so much of the, the, they take so much of the freedom the player has out of, out of your hands. Whereas like, you have like something like, for example, Halo 3. There are cutscenes where it's, like when when Guilty Spark turns against you, he zaps <clears throat> Johnson, and he zaps Johnson. He briefly like makes Chief kind of lock down, and then because of Johnson, you get to fight him. That could have easily just been a cutscene where you don't actually fight Guilty Spark. Whereas mm-hmm. in Halo Four, there was that whole bit where like the Diadac picks you up and he flings you around, and it's just like this. Couldn't this just be like a, a fight? Couldn't this just be like an actual bit where I fight him the first time, and then I'm like, oh, I'm woefully underpowered, and then. You have to go through the whole game to properly fight him again. This is like, I don't know. And the didact, I don't know. There's there's something about the forerunner, like enemies in that game as well. It's just it's not as satisfying to fight mechanical, uh, emotionless enemies compared mm-hmm. to the goofy grunts running around going ah the demon yeah. and screaming. Um, I I get it, but I don't know. Also, I did like the that you know a forerunner shows up and all the covenant are like. Hello, God. How are you doing? <laughs> we uh, thought we you were a... all gone. God is here. Never mind. We're we're with you. <laughs> we got a, another <clears throat> ten ten pound donation from Thank Captain you. Firespitter. F to Forge World. Never oh, forget bro. the best custom maps. I peaked in Reach with my best mem- memories there. Mm. <clears throat> one versus five, my friends. One time and nearly one in terms of scoring points. Good times. Yes. Nice. Hell yeah. Good days. Good days racing in the Warthogs down the big freaking <clears throat> jumps and crazy stuff. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm. Speed Halo was awesome. Going so fast you would clip into the level. <laughs> like, like the fucking Flash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Halo 4 is fine. Uh, is it then Spartan Assault came out? I believe so. Is that the mobile right. game? It's also an Xbox One. They like ported it. Hmm. I never. It's played. pretty meh, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it is a twin stick shooter. It's, yeah. it's there. It doesn't inspire anything in me. Moving was, on, uh, uh, yeah, that was it. it was the first <laughs> Halo game I ever went. Like, I don't, I don't care enough to finish this. Um. F- By the way, do, do we know what this is? I've There's an arcade that. Halo I've played game. That in real I've life. never. You've played it. Oh, How is it? Because like? I've I, never played it. <laughs> it's a arcade shooter game. It's. I, I mean, it's. It's at the movie theater in Calgary. I think at least it was at one point. And oh, dude, good? that looks. That's, uh, I mean, like, just for the setup, it's pretty great. Uh, I don't remember how it great it was. Is better than Halo but, 4? I mean, no. Like, it's an arc- <laughs> it's arcade gameplay. Like, if you've ever seen the games with, like, the two guns that you can play with your yeah. friends yeah. and you shoot the guys, and, like, it's very basic, but it's still... It's fun. It's an arcade I guess put it in good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm happy to put it in good. Uh, there's also this weird one, Halo for the, for the Atari. I didn't that know Halo cool. had an Atari cool. game until I saw this Someone... tier list. <laughs> Someone made an Atari port where it's like uh, you play as a little stick figure Master Chief and you shoot little pixelated blobs at oh, enemies. This looks uh, it kind of looks neat. like the original ET oh, for the Atari. I see that. But, uh, well, I haven't right. played it. If it, lo- if it looks like <laughs> ET for the Atari, that's a very bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> that thing uh, crashed the gaming industry. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm content with putting it in. I haven't it's... played because I doubt any of us have played it. I like it. the cover art. It looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Um, well, that that's because that that's because they took the cover art from the Halo Legends 
like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty decent, huh. the animation. Although a bit that. disjointed. Uh, yeah, but it was pretty awesome, especially as a kid. Yeah. Spartan 1330, 1337. He was real, <laughs> real, a real one. <laughs> um, so, is it Halo... Master Chief Collection next? It's either that or Spartan Strike, and I've never played Spartan Strike. But should we just put Spartan? Because I haven't played it. Either. Should we just yeah, put that there? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I, I if we did play it, it'd probably go right next to Spartan Assault. It sure is a twin yeah. stick shooter. <laughs> um, Master Chief Collection. Sure, Meh. That must be. Meh. Is it better than all the Spartan games? Assault, right? Surely. It's all the games, but for so long the matchmaking just didn't work. <laughs> it's gonna get rid of bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating because I remember when I actually bought it, I just played the campaign for a while and then I heard about all the multiplayer problems and so forth. Oh, I'll give uh, this a while. I see. And then a year later, it still wasn't fixed properly. I was like, oh, it, that's a shame. It did give us Halo 2 Remastered, though, and Combat Evolved it Remastered, did. right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, must maybe we, good, at least. we want to bump it up to good then, yeah. But... Maybe slightly better than... <laughs> they are. There's, like, a, there's also only <laughs> so much credit I can give it because it's like, yeah, it's a great collection of games. Because you took all of Bungie's games and put it yeah. in it. <laughs> Fair. And I Halo the, 4. I have the key memory of... Uh, I don't remember the name of the channel. Do you remember that guy, the kid, the viral video of him like freaking out at Thanksgiving, like flipping the tables over? Oh, he yeah. had a video of him with like the Master Chief helmet on with his Master Chief collection. It was like, <laughs> crazy dad throws Xbox into pool type of thing. Like those videos. That's, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember his name. It ended up coming out and like showing that his family's actually very happy and it's all like acting. But well, I'm sure someone around here knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know. It, it was it was a bit of a, a bit of a cheeky thing as well for them to go like, oh, we'll make a collection of all the best Halo games. We'll sneakily put Halo Four in there. It's like, guys, yes. <laughs> what did you do that for? And it was like not even that old at this point. It was like, oh, we've already got Halo Four and. When it was the Xbox 360 moving over to Xbox mm. One, you could get it on both. It was like, guys, are they are they going to remaster shit. Halo Three? Is that a thing <coughs> that's going to happen? I mean, don't know. I don't I know. Mean... It'd be cool, and it'd be a great way for them to get free money because yeah. it's Halo Three. <laughs> yeah, but oh, fair. I mean, plus it's 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 been like 16 years since it came out. That's you know decent remastering yeah. time. Because was Halo Two a 10 year anniversary thing? I believe it was, yeah, because yeah. all the other ones got a ten-year anniversary. Yeah, and then they're like free. <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> Can't remake that because of the amazing uh, uh, multiplayer and everything. We'll have to. We'll have to like work on that. We can't <laughs> we just, figure like, out how to ruin it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Mick Juggernaut. Uh, yeah. Is that? Yeah, that's who it is. Holy crap! Uh, Deep cut. I think it was Halo Wars Two then, which yeah. I'll admit I haven't played. Everyone has told Everybody. me it's Halo Wars hmm. One, but better. But I haven't played it. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, but honestly, I don't like it as much as one. Uh, mainly because I am pedantic, and the final boss is a pain in the ass because it's invincible, and it's mm. like you do you damage it, and then it retreats, and then it keeps coming back, and you can't fully destroy it. And I thought it had just ruined my experience. I was like, I mm. love this game, and then that happened. And I was like, I want to die and then now whenever any, anyone tells me about it i'm like oh, i don't like this as much as the first one <laughs> nina, nina, nina. the um, uh i think the best thing i think i can say about halo wars 2 is a comment i saw somewhere which that uh it's the best of the latest like halo games ever since bungie stopped and that's because 343 didn't make it yeah exactly <laughs> which um, is sad and again the cinematics are beautiful the they they have made tweaks and improvements. For some reason, they've replaced some of the voice actors with new people, which I don't like. They replaced Cutter. Um, mm. The adverts were kind oh, of... Oh, dude, the advertisings were hilarious. They were I funny. Um, Cutter and Atriox haggling yeah. over a used car. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It, it, and the multiplayer is fine, but there's obviously like certain commanders which are way better than others. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. But for me, I don't know, maybe just because I got to play Halo Wars in its prime and the multiplayer i i can't That's put fair. it past one for me and especially you can actually still the last one the last boss sucks and i hate it <laughs> Ugh, it goes into meth uh, yeah. boss believe it or not you can still halo. you can still get halo wars online games uh, oh, yes at least cool. on the xbox one because they remastered it which means they ported it it's a port yeah yeah uh but you can still play it uh 
not a lot of online games. You might be waiting in matchmaking for a bit, but you can get into a game if you're patient cool. enough. There we go. Tom Warren says, I've actually played it. <clears throat> and I remember I preferred the first one. Yeah, see, hmm. it's not just me. It's not as good as <laughs> I believe you, Eddie. <laughs> it's fine. Um, last Halo one, Inf Halo Infinite. Okay. I might be controversial again. I think this goes top of great. Dang. Okay. I think uh, I watched Bricky's video on it, and I think he put it best, which is they did all of the hard stuff perfectly. You know, the core mechanics of the game, making the gameplay and gunplay like satisfying. The abilities are cool. Grappling hook. You can never go wrong with your game, and you add a grappling hook to it. <laughs> and then everything on top of that is a complete shit show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate some of the guns in it. Uh, I don't. I don't even remember the name, but it's that awful fire launcher gun. Uh, it's an aerial denial weapon in the single most mobile Halo game they've yet released. <laughs> uh, so it's completely worthless. Uh, what else, what else do they get? The uh, the campaign is a great big ball of nothing. Shout hmm. out to them introducing the Endless and then doing nothing with them. I think hmm. they're called the Endless. I honestly don't remember the name of that like alien squid thing where it's like, the Forerunners locked us away. We were a great threat to them. Like, motherfucker. I forgot no, they you were weren't. even in the campaign story. That's I know. How amazing That's they were. how <laughs> complete nothing they are. Yeah, wow. it's like Halo Five was horrible. At least it inspired emotion in me. The campaign of Halo Infinite made me go, "This sure is ha a, a game. I'm playing a <laughs> yeah. video game right now." Mm -hmm. uh, the my, the the online multiplayer is a. Uh, I love battle passes. I love things. I love <laughs> Fortnite for what uh. it's done to gaming. I love the twenty dollar Mark Five armor. That's so cool and epic. I love that. It's <laughs> it just means... it has such a. Gr that was uh, Crazy Glory says Halo Infinite is the first time I took a hit of copium and Bro, I, I've $5. Been, Thank you. I've been huffing copium for like three years now. <laughs> You're saying a lot of bad it's, things about this game for it to be uh, great to hear. Uh, it's because I think the solid core mechanics of it are so good. I honestly think it had the potential to be the most fun like a Halo game has been in terms mm. of pure mechanics. Mm. Everything on top of that core was such a mess. <laughs> like the, the maps, there was like four maps per playlist when it first launched yeah half of them sucked i was yeah. so angry because one of them i thought like it had a different angle on one of the load-ins i thought mm. they added sword base to the game they did not add sword base to the game they just did this really mean thing where they put a saber fighter in the loading screen in the same like launching position as sword base it was not sword base that made me really fucking upset when that happened Jeez. It's the uh, least I've ever played a Halo game, honestly. Like I, I remember I got it on Game Pass because I had I had Xbox One at the time. I played the campaign. I got all the achievements of the campaign. I tried the multiplayer, and I got sick of it within a, de a day. I played it for a day, and I went, right, I've had enough. And the, the, the campaign, I, is it the Sidewinder pistol? You can get that like special. In the campaign, there's like a special variant of each weapon. If you get the Sidewinder pistol variant in the campaign, you can basically play the whole campaign with just this really powerful pistol and just be like uh, bang, bang, everything's geez. dead. I mean, to just be fair, sure that is that is way. just the Halo One Magnum. <laughs> that thing was <laughs> yeah, a bolt. Exactly. That thing is. Like, I think okay. I looked it up. It's it is a bolt gun. The Halo One pistol. That thing is a bolt <laughs> yeah. gun. <laughs> yeah. And it was like I've got all these options, but why would I need any of them when I've got this? It's like yeah, perfect. Like oh, I can. And, and then there was just like a lot. Of... Thing is, the campaign to me felt like someone did a fan mod. And they were like, we'll take a we'll take a Halo game and we'll just make like a bunch of objectives you can go on and we'll just use the assets from the game to make it's like it didn't feel like a game as much as it felt like, oh uh, here's some busy work and we put some spawns in. Ooh. The op the open world was cool, but I don't think Halo should be open world. I much prefer Halo and it's like it is it is a linear yeah. FPS game. There's nothing yeah. wrong with being linear and open world a doesn't make game... it inherently better. Like the first one, a linear game with the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like that, that pretends to be open world, it's like semi open yeah. world. Like, okay, it's very wide open maps and they're sprawling, yep. but there is a, a line to follow. <laughs> we have some Halo, Halo 5 is PK, whoa, bro, what on earth? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Colin getting rightfully baby mad. I am getting baby <laughs> mad because I'm puffing copium still about Halo Infinite. I Halo think its core is fantastic. Yeah. Matt graphics says it's Halo just Final everything on top. Is the best multiplayer. What do you think about that? I mean, <laughs> nah. Um, uh, the weapons in Halo Five or Halo Infinite are a whole lot of mid. They introduced yep. cool weapons with Halo Four and Five, and then didn't put them in the game in Halo Infinite. Uh, there's a lot of redundancies. There's uh, there's a lot of issues. The skill based matchmaking is atrocious. <laughs> To the mm. point where you can, like, it's like 99% accurate determine whether or not you will win a game. 
So when you load into multiplayer, you are playing <laughs> fucking Farseer Simulator. It's like, <laughs> yes, I see the strands of fate. You are going to lose. It doesn't matter how hard you try. Our skill-based matchmaking is so accurate that it, it, your efforts basically don't matter. If you if if it has put you on the losing side, which is a problem because that's not how skill-based matchmaking should work. It has problems. It's a bit of a bit of an issue. It has monetization issues. I put it in great. I feel like you with the health Drake, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, like, i mean I, the core is so good i will keep going on about this the gameplay itself is so fun it's just everything on top of the core gameplay is a shit sandwich yeah everything they add to make it more monetizable makes it worse and that's mm. why it's like oh it's well, like, we can't make it more fun because we won't make as much money god it's like god. the chef the chef carted out a five-star meal the, one of the best things you'll ever eat and then for dessert he ripped ass directly in your face <laughs> oh we have a donation from geek freak for five dollars thank you he says halo infinite campaign allows you to give six marines tracking rocket launchers and drive them around in yep. an suv open world that is true and everything yeah wow that's very fun <laughs> I, I, like i said there are a lot of good things about infinite all of the hard stuff they did very well all of the stuff on top they butchered yeah, mm. which is a shame. Which is why, again, um, I think it's great. It's not amazing. It's definitely not godly. And if they ever in... fully fix the game, mm -hmm. maybe it could go up. Uh, let's make sure we save this tier list before we move on. It's Halo yeah, Infinite, yeah. the cyberpunk of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Is cyberpunk a good game yet? I've that heard, <laughs> like everyone who's still like I've heard that tr tried it again has loved it. Like I haven't. I don't mm -hmm. think I've heard anyone who went back to it be like, no, it's still shit. I'll yeah. hold it was good from the beginning, and I did not get many bugs. And I was playing on a last gen oh, Xbox okay. when I first played it. Honestly, I think it's fine. The only bug I got in Cyberpunk were completely in my favor. It was in the first mission where this like boss comes out of an elevator, and you know, he's probably supposed to be a really hard fight, except he didn't move mm -hmm. for me. He just kind of got sat there in the elevator, T posing. <laughs> uh, so I, I just beat him to death. I didn't even have to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so all right, well, swinging. <laughs> Jack, Jackie sounded really afraid. And was just like, well, all right. I mean, <coughs> probably would be scary, average, Jackie. I agree. But average it, Elder Scrolls like... dragon fight. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that was so weapons. Weapons. Moving on next, we got the weapons. Now, there were a lot of tier lists for weapons, but one thing was a lot of them were like, how about we have every weapon and all of its variables in every one of the games? I thought that will take way too long. So this is just general, like there is one version of the battle rifle, there is one version of the pistol. So that's all you get. And I think otherwise it would be a bit too over the top. Uh, but let's start things off with the, I think, possibly one of the worst weapons in the game, the assault rifle. I don't know if I, I wouldn't put it in D tier. I would put it it's in C tier. on the cover tier. arts. <laughs> It's it's, it's on, on the it's, cover. It's, it's like, iconic. It's on the it's cover. The most iconic rubbish weapon ever. <laughs> I just think it's mid. Like there's no weapon. <laughs> there's very few weapons I would not trade an assault rifle for. But you have the assault rifle. It's like all right. Well, this is. It's solid. Like it's mid. I'm not happy. I have it. I'm not upset that I have it. It's there. I'm gonna mm. trade it out immediately. But for the time being, it'll do good enough. <laughs> I've also uh, figured out that. Uh, the exact amount of time to fire uh, in Halo 3 multiplayer, the exact amount of length of time you need to shoot to then be able to melee kill a Spartan. Oh, wow. Uh, so, I, uh, yeah, I played a lot of Halo 3. <laughs> mm, as someone who's very bad with an Xbox <clears throat> controller, I did not enjoy unloading three clips into my friends yes. to try to get one kill and then yeah. still not killing them. But <laughs> I mean, I've already, I've already said that Halo is a a kind of headshot shooter. This is like one of the only guns that can't headshot anything because it's not strong enough. And it takes a billion years to kill anyone with it. A any other, like the UNSC, UNSC weapons are designed to be like, yeah, headshot capable. The BR, the DMR, the sniper rifle. And then you've got this thing. You're like, oh, even the pistol does more damage to this and you can shoot someone. You can aim at someone's head and it still takes half a mag to kill them. I hate this gun. Yeah, but it, in like Reach that. and Infinite, it got a lot better. Like in Reach and Infinite, it is a solid yeah. weapon. Mm. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to have 60 rounds for it in the first game. It was like, because this it was this funny. Is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and then the next one, they're like 36. It's like, yeah, come on, 60 rounds. And it's just like, 
it makes this weird <laughs> noise when you shoot it and it doesn't sound threatening at all and you're like oh mm. this is this is this is wasting my time rather than being a weapon um, i'm just yeah, i oh, think c tier yeah okay okay fair enough uh battle rifle has S-tier. must be s tier right a tier s tier what's a Ooh. it must be S-tier. okay why even noobs like me could use it why because why? i think the dmr is s tier and i think it's better than the battle rifle yeah, but the I agree, but I think both to deserve I'm bad at the game. to be an S tier. I, bro, I, I cannot, I cannot, in, I cannot comprehend your skill issue. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Get better, One get better with the say, DMR. <laughs> One thing I will say is, I think it should be illegal to put the battle rifle in SWAT because that takes all the challenge away. Like the amount of time, it's like you got you got one in three chance of hitting someone in the head. Like you shouldn't. As soon as they went from just the DMRs. To having that, I was angry. I was like, don't mm. put it in SWAT. <laughs> it's my favorite game mode, and it makes it too easy, and I'm cross. And so that's why. I, yeah, I what agree. What do you mean it makes SWAT easier? Game. They're both one shots with the, with the fucking <laughs> yeah, DMR or battle gun. rifle. It yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but then it means if you slightly miss, you can just glide over someone's head into the vague direction. You get one in three chance of hitting. Oh, so that is an actual dollars. skill issue then. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you get an easier time playing with a gun that shoots three times oh, at once. So it's like, no, no, you shouldn't have it. Only we got, DMRs. We have five dollars from Crimson Glory. <coughs> Thank you again, Mister Crimson. Coming in, Carbine and Brute Shot S tier. I will die on this hill because I'm sad they haven't brought it back since Halo Three. Mm. Sad. I've, Thank you. Bro, listen. Thank you for the five do- for the four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I you are cracked out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Covenant Carbine is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It's I an actually, awesome weapon. It's 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 not S tier. I'm sorry. The the brute shot, I just miss every single shot ever. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> what's 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 up next? Uh well, next up is the oh, beam, it's the beam beam rifle, gun. S tier. Uh, Both of the snipers, I think, are S tier. Sure, I can't hit the broad side of a barn with that thing. <laughs> Dude, it's perfect. And if, as long as you know how to if you can time your shots well. You can either get, even if you get a body shot, you get a quick one-two because it shoots faster than the sniper yeah. rifle. But if you're being steady with it, you never have to reload or overheat. Yeah, mm. it's a solid gun. It looks weird as hell, but I love it. <laughs> I like using it. Although I do hate that it is, it is the it is the antithesis of everyone playing Legendary on Halo Two because of the jackals. Screw you, beam rifle. But other than that, it's. Really I mean, if cool. we'd like to bring um, it down a tier just for that alone, I can I can live with it. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of anger that thing generated in Halo 2 was enough to fucking yeah. get powerhouses but not as with much, that. But not as much anger as I feel whenever I see anyone using a BR in SWAT. <laughs> I'll keep it there. Um, what is, because oh, if, you, if you're going to aim for someone's head, you should have one bullet or none. Can you um, scroll down a bit more for that one? Like, I, there's one? that's one of two weapons. I can't tell... Uh, is it a if that's the four hundred sniper rifle or the four hundred battle like rifle? The is it the bouncy shot one? Uh, or is that? Uh, dude, I don't know what I'm talking this about. Is the pistol. That's, what it is. <laughs> that's the pistol. That's the rail gun. Uh, that looks like the shotgun. That's the four hundred SMG. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, Chat, what this is, is the thing about four hundred weapons. They all generic. Glowy blob. Let's, let's, why don't we why don't we skip it and see what that's the sniper is rifle now. there. That's the snoop. That's the oh yeah, that's rifle. sniper. So this one is the what? This is the that's the four hundred battle rifle, which I think should go next to the other battle rifle because it's just a battle rifle with LEDs. <laughs> yeah, what's the point of having the same gun twice? That's it. <laughs> should it be B tier yeah. then if it's just copied? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I no, that's fair. Put it, put it directly under the battle rifle. You cop you copied Bungie's homework. We're putting you down a step. I think it might uh, be a bit stronger, but hmm. uh, this hmm. is the pi- that's the uh, four hundred hand pistol. Yeah, D tier. Uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Rubbish. You hold. Rubbish you can hold gun. it down, and it fires out a shotgun blast of the pellets that never works. Uh, is a useless. I think. Feature. I think. Chat. It's Chad garbage. Is all saying it's the sniper rifle, not the BR. Wait. That's the sniper. Well, where's it going? That's the sniper rifle. We have it back. Oh no! Oh no! I think that is the sniper rifle. I think that one actually is what? the. Yeah. Wait, that's the sniper, and the one with the scope isn't the sniper rifle. I guess so. Apparent, uh, no. Chat seems to believe it pretty, <laughs> pretty perfectly. All right. Well, let's put. Yeah. So all right. In right, that case, put, put that one in S tier. I love that sniper. 
even though it looks like enough to argue every with generic <laughs> forerunner. Dude, it is a one-shot sniper. How generic but... the guns look. Yeah. For the it's, it's a one-shot sniper if you hit, but it only has one round in it, so you better hit. No, and it fun. also has the worst, uh, like, you know how games, for some horrible reason, decided to give every sniper scope a glint because oh. you are not allowed to have fun with a sniper rifle. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Uh, that one has the worst, except it's fitting because it's one shot kill. It is just a massive like laser beam that goes across the entire map from mm. wherever you're aiming when you scope. Mm. It's uh, I love it. it this tier. ancient civilization that conquered the known universe had to design this weapon so that you could see exactly where it was whenever <laughs> it was used. It makes sense. Yep. Um, oh, man. Chat's not enjoying your decisions. <laughs> brute shot. Brute shot. B I, for brute. Brute shot. <laughs> It gives you it gives you power trip fantasy, and then you miss all your shots, and nothing happens. <laughs> Root shot tricks you. It makes you think this is going to be a really powerful weapon, and then it's just okay. Yeah, it's got an amazing <coughs> melee weapon. I love the design of just you go. Ugh, it's got this massive yeah. machete blade on it. It's cool for that, but you know, I'm not giving. I can't put it above, you know, like the AR yeah. for that or the BR. I mean. Mm. Uh, oh, is this? I think also I love this gun. I, I, love I love this it. gun. I, it's I love so it. much worse use... than the BR, though. <laughs> it's got so much it's ammo. Cool, Thank it was you, fun Crimson to use in, uh... I know it's cool, but it's fun worse. Fun to use in campaign, but a Halo 2 campaign. I just used that, and then I was I, I, I could better, you know yeah. do okay. I, I, you know, if, if BR is A tier, I want I want my cool gun to be I an mean, S tier. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Seventy two percent of the chat agrees it should be an S tier. <laughs> I love it because it's got so much ammo in the clip, and this is a this is a this is a, this is a headshot shooter. Campaign alone, you get so much out of this yeah, gun. Yeah, it was being awesome. Like, blap 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 blap. I've killed fifteen enemies. I'm still got bullets in my clip. <laughs> blap blap blap. And you got the little pod on the top. Yeah, so the design's it's cool. really cool. The sound yeah, and it makes nice a fun too. noise when it shoots. I can think <laughs> of the sound right now. Man. Yeah, it's great. It's like, <laughs> and then it goes <laughs> plunk and goes. And uh, yeah, and it's great. And it was the first, it was first in Halo 2. And that was a, like, oh, it's a spin on. We've got the battle rifle, but we've also got this weird alien gun. Mm. That's cool. And it looks really weird and purple. Mm -hmm. So yeah, great. DMR, um, top of S tier. That must yeah. be S Top of S tier. Top of I love that gun. It's great. Best gun. There's a uh, Thunder Psyker decided to humor my ego. And in this Halo Reach video, put a clip of me blowing his head off with it on Emirates. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for that. For that ego boost, <laughs> Mr. Thunder Psyker, big fan of that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up after the stream now. <laughs> it was a really good video on Halo 2, Halo Reach, mm. not Halo 2, Halo, comma, 2. <laughs> nice. uh, wow. DMR, S tier weapon. If you don't agree, your actual skill issue that's that's the end of it. Mm. And it's the only viable weapon to put in SWAT because the whole point is you've got to be accurate. And <laughs> I will not. I will die on this hill. BRs have no place being in a game about accuracy. Oh god! <laughs> fuck, you, Ra fuck you, rarest Pepe. I don't need more of that. God damn it! I know. All right, they use seven six two for most of their guns. You don't need to keep bringing it up. <laughs> oh, Crimson Glory donating oh. five more dollars. Thank you. Immediately sharing all of their members' videos. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, I like the DMR. You and your shit, you and your shit, you and your shit. I get it. <laughs> Brayden always wants to uh, strangle me because I like SWAT. Because he might as well just play Call of Duty instead if you're gonna play SWAT. Uh, but I have, yeah, I'm bad at the game, so I quite enjoy only having to hit one shot <laughs> every time. <laughs> nah, I I don't know. It's, it's, it just it viscerally annoys me that like it it's it, like the first time SWAT was a thing it was like oh it's all about being accurate and that's the point and it's like we're gonna put the burst fire gun and it's like well what's the point oh. <laughs> it's like it was it should have been called swap for babies um energy sword <clears throat> uh, I, I i would give top of a tier this guy why this guy it is not understand it, if it was solely off of how cool it was it'd be the coolest it's the coolest yeah. to be top <laughs> of s tier it is on on the bigger maps and energy sword is a hindrance like on blood gulch Mm. or like hemorrhage and reach or like maps that are very <laughs> wide and open you are walking around with a big target on your back that says blow my head off with the dmr but on Being the less big maps it's awesome 
Yeah, which is why I think it's an A tier. It's very situational. Sad. And I in those situations, it's kick ass. Mm. Yeah. I do love it in the campaign though. Like, especially the Oh yeah, yeah the campaign that's where... great. The guy, the guy, the <laughs> arbiter's first boss fight, and he's just like, "I'm invisible." <laughs> he's there at the end. He's just sort of like, "Smack, smack!" There you are. Da, 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 it's so iconic, dude. It's death. so perfect. It deserves S two yeah. just for that. And the scene where again the arbiter kills the prophet, and he goes, "Yeah," and he does that that really great like noise when he dies. If it was about how fucking cool it is, I uh, would agree. Top of S tier. This is how right? Andy felt. For voting Alexis Polex S tier on the Horace Heresy covers, <laughs> <laughs> I understand yes. now. <laughs> Surely, so he's got to go there. Nice, um, big win. <laughs> oh, fire grenades! I don't know. Weird. B. B. Sure. They, they were. They were there. They were whatever. Yeah. Is this a flame they, thrower? They're just like, oh, Colin. Hey, God, fucking damn it! <laughs> flame, flame for a. That doesn't feel yeah. like it should be a Halo weapon. Yeah, I'd put it put it in C because it fucks the flood up real good, and other than that, it's slow. Yeah. It has no range. You're Which a game massive was that target. One even in? Three. Well, it was in C E, but I think only on the PC for whatever reason. Oh, okay, huh. right. That's weird. Uh, and it, it's it's fun to use, and because it's a at least in three, it's a weapon you pick up like a turret, so you can technically hold mm. three. But it's not great. It's really only useful for burning the flood, which you know does a very good job at that. Outside of that, it's not great. Uh, what is this thing? I That's the nice. laser sniper from Reach. When they uh, replace the beam rifle with that laser beam, oh. I also can't hit anything with that. So <laughs> I give it the low A or high B. It's fun to use, and it yeah. requires a bit more skill because it's a concentrated exactly. beam, not just a sniper tap. Oh, that thing! Oh, I, yeah. I forgot that existed. <laughs> oh. uh, Honestly, I think it's, it was my favorite. Sn- He's your favorite sniper. Uh, God damn it! Tom Warren said with two dollars says, "Hey, Colin, do you know the UNSC uses seven sixty-two rounds?" I did. I did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm aware that UNSC does not use five five six. They use seven sixty-two. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm assuming this is a reference to a video you've previously done. And yes, I made. I fucked up and said they use five five six <laughs> all, all I'm for most of their stuff, is... and no one has let me stop hearing about it. All I'm saying is I've made mistakes in my videos, and that will never end. People are so nope. romantic. It's crazy. Um, Amberly Vale donated a five dollars. The Swagnum better be S for its role in the UFC. Don't <laughs> don't worry. We are gonna. Surely. We'll Should we just skip ahead to the Swagnum? Uh, S tier. Colin, what are you about to say? What? It's all. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, look. In it's Halo C, it's easy S tier, right? Yeah, I think huh? it's great in Reach too. Mm-hmm. In two and three, the pistol is dog oh, water. Gosh. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. And if we're just doing one for all of them, we have to include those two games so it can't be S tier. Because if you have the pistol in three, it's fucking trash. I mean, two is rubbish. <laughs> one is amazing. Okay, the, then I guess it gets the, the sidewinder and I mean the, the, the sidekick. Is that it's the sidekick is good too in infinite. It's A tier because in so many games it's good. But in the games it's not good. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you dual wield them, it's like oh. I bet the MA five B is in five five six. God, <laughs> honestly, like the the disappointment when I first booted up Halo two, and I was in that first level, I'm like, oh look, it's the back, it's the Magnum, <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna take out this elite, and it's just like <laughs> pew 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 pew, and I was like, what? <laughs> Why, what? What have you done, Bungie? You, you know, know it's oh, shit <laughs> in half the games. In the first game, it was the best, and then the second one, it was the worst thing in the game. And I was like, "You've you've wounded me, Bungie. I am going to send a cease and desist for you to ever do this again, or I will turn up and I will, I will, I don't know. I'll I'll, oh. I'll tell you off." I got I got to defend Colin. I am also an elite preferred species. When yeah, we play Halo you. Two Elites multiplayer, cool. I choose I choose the elite. <laughs> Three four three needs to bring back elite. They are different pistols, but we're counting all of them together to keep this yeah. from being a five year long tier list. Yeah, and there's no other ones that I can see, so I think yeah, it's it's, it's got to be done. Sad. Although what's this? Oh, that's the ODS. Oh right, we got to mention the ODST pistol then. The silenced that's, one. Yeah, that one specifically. Still put it put it behind. It. Yeah, put it yeah there. Uh, Amberly Vale with two dollars. Thank you. He says sounds like a skill issue if you ask me, Mister No Work. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> these guys are these guys are throwing it at you, dude. <laughs> I've got a fucking Halo tattoo, all right? I am the boss. <laughs> so do I. I so, so does Andy. 
Oh. Nice. I have Halo Mega Blocks in my room still. <laughs> there we go. Nice. There, That's the one I got. I, uh, Very UNSC sexy. One. Showing some skin. Oh. I won't show my face, but I will show Remember my face. Remember, it's her uh, shoulder um, reveal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank Mine's grenade. here, but it has an insulin pump on it, so it's a little <laughs> scuffed. I enjoy throwing grenade. these before I die and never <laughs> getting anything. I mean, they're, they're kind of boring, but they're very useful. Thank you, Crimson. They're Blue good. Again. <laughs> they, uh, they, they're not one-hit kills, but they're very good for, you know, area denial or flushing someone out. <laughs> they uh, are one-hit kills for grunts, which is amazing. Uh, yes, that's very funny. <laughs> and especially the little noises when they go, wow! <laughs> Best thing in all of Halo is just throwing a, throwing a grenade in a bunch of five of them. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Crimson Glory just donated $2 saying, heresy! Um, different kind of heresy yeah. against the great journey. <laughs> uh, I love this gun. It's the gloopy boom gun. It's the, the fuel rod gun. It's the oh, rocket rod, launcher, but okay. worse and not fun to use. Fun. I like the fuel rod, though. Is you, it the you, actual you fuel fire rod or at the, something else? That's the fuel rod gun, yeah. yeah that's you fire right? at the ground, and instead of you know exploding and dealing <laughs> damage to the enemy, it bounces and then goes somewhere off rocketing to Venus, and then you die to so <laughs> heal with a pistol. And then you feel really dumb, and I don't like that gun. But it shoots big green globules, and it goes kaboom. kaboom. Yeah, if you hit a vehicle with it, it's great. And I, you know, I can live with it being somewhat high because it's great for vehicles. If it's great, if it's against people, uh, the rounds have like this arc that a rocket launcher should not have, but it does. Uh, it's it's I, I don't like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> it has a lot of ammo, and it's strong when you hit. I get to shoot a lot of big exploding shut, things. Shut. So. <laughs> I'm going to keep it A. Uh, yes. Gravity Hammer. S tier. S -tier. S -tier. S -tier. This, guy argued, this guy argued to put the sword in A tier, but... Yeah, because they the... made the Gravity... Because Gravity Hammer beats sword if you swing at the right time. Yeah, but you get it to lunge with the sword damage. at least. Yeah, it ha you can do that with the Gravity Hammer uh, too, but this yeah, has yeah, area yeah. of effect. Yeah. In Infinite, nothing is scarier than turning a corner and a man <laughs> is coming. He's starting the downward swing of the hammer. Also, you just have to uh, accept your what's fate. What's it? Griff Ball? Is that what it's called? <clears throat> Mm. The gravity hammer. Oh yeah, Griff ball. ball game. That was really fun. And as, four. And as Warhammer creators, we have to give special Truth. to anything with, with a hammer involved. It's hammer. It's great. Fun to have my Warhammer forty k. <laughs> I am the oh, hammer fantasy is grenade it, launcher the, from Rage. Oh, I don't uh, remember B. if I ever really used B. it. It's uh, yeah. you can get kills with it. It's a little hard, but you can. You can also EMP vehicles, which is fun. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a weird gimmick where you hold down the trigger and you let go to blow up the yeah. rounds, which is kind of like, oh, that can be fun, but that's the, there's not yeah, really the, much mm. of a chance to use it like that. There's no real efficient way to do it. It's like, oh, I'm going to be fighting hordes of infantry. This isn't that useful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like the AI will just run yeah. away from it as soon as they see it. Millions uh, will die tonight for up. this tier list. <laughs> they, <laughs> they will try. What is That's this? the incineration cannon, another forerunner weapon. That's a cool name. Oh. It's a forerunner rocket launcher. I, C tier. That weapon's fun. Is it? I can't remember yeah. it. It's uh, it shoots like the five red blobs. If they if enough of them hit the enemy, they just disintegrate. Okay, I don't remember this gun existed. Mm. But then again, I I mean, if it's a rocket launcher, I assume it does some good damage. So I'll put it there. It does. Oh, the Morley pistol. I never this understood this when I was a kid. I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> I like the more pistol. You can dual wield uh, it. Solid. I want to put it here. Yeah, I can live with that. I've never been a fan it. of it, but I, I see why people like it. Closer. I remember once I, I did a multiplayer game of free, and I, it was all my teammates dropped out of the game, and it was me versus five character, five other players, and I won the match just because I kept getting the maulers and hiding in corners. <laughs> when they were trying to get the characters, I was like, bang, smack, bang, smack. But it was like 4 5 v one and I won. And it was like, okay, I get to be a bit of a dick with camping if, if I'm like outnumbered. Come on. And uh, it was like, I'm going down, but I'm going to take two or three of you with me each time. <laughs> chat, chat wants the MA5B to be reconsidered. That would be Which the one? assault rifle. Uh, fine, we'll put it in D tier. No, what? no <laughs> you reconsidered it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, tough. Uh, <laughs> oh, anyways, it's. It's that weapon makes me angry because I pick it up one? and I feel like I should be really powerful, but it doesn't work. Is this the laser the pointer one? What is it? It's uh, you Great grab it thing. and it's it's in Halo Three and I think ODST. Uh, in campaign, it's a turret weapon, but never in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. It has eight shots, eight rockets. Uh, that 
against players don't lock on and they go very slow and do not have high splash damage. Hmm. So using against players isn't great. Using against vehicles is solid, but it is only useful against vehicles. And if they're in a Banshee, you've wasted your ammo because the Banshee will just do like the loop-de-loops mm. around it, and you wasted your weapon. There's there's mm. more Colin slander in the chat. <laughs> Colin try to clean his room challenge impossible. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Look, my bed isn't made, and that has a bunch of shit on it because it's my painting table. <laughs> my Other than that, my seat. room is clean. I guess this isn't my room. It's still called office room. Uh, is there an airstrike laser pointer weapon, or am I just crazy? Do I not know what I'm talking about? Uh, there That's is. in reach, that, yeah. That was in okay. reach. Only reach, I think? I think only reach. Yeah. My room is messy. Um, it's not dirty. Um, Needly Carbine. S tier. Which game is this one in? Reach. Huh? Just it's reach. The co- it's the Covenant Carbine, but better because it's also a Needler rifle. It's mm-hmm. also a Needler and they explode. So it explodes. That's I cool. want to put it like here. Because I remember it, but only vaguely because it's only been in Reach. So, yeah. I think it's kind of cool, but it is also a bit like we have Needlers at home, but it's also like... Mm. I, I guess they they made it for each, and then they were like, "Oh, we we really don't need it again." It's, it's kind of already <clears throat> doing double duty for two weapons we already have that exist. So mm-hmm. maybe a bit too close to the sun. Uh, but speaking of needles, needle Needler, gun. I put it A tier. S. Every time I, I shoot, A-tier. I unload an entire <laughs> clip and expect it to kill someone, and then it just doesn't, and I don't know what happened, See, and it, I'm dead. The way it works is your needler is sucks and is garbage, <laughs> but the enemy's needler has instant homing, instant tracking, and blows you up in three shots. But yours, the whole clip is made replaced with nerf rounds and will never work, <laughs> and then you feel silly. <laughs> needler over DMR, Amberly Vale. Thank you for uh, your support this stream. However, you are. Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit, Needler Jack is fun. You too, Matt Graphics. But it, it, it's iconic and it's fun, but it ain't DMR. DMR gang, mm. rise up. Plasma, uh, plasma grenade. grenades, got to go at the top, surely. I'd say uh, iconic. A. Oh, they have they have a, they have stick, less damage radius than the frag grenade. It's they funny kill, to stick your frag yeah. though. Although yeah, it's I never, very. I never yeah. actually stick them, but you know. Mm-hmm. We'll I think I bottom S. There's, all right, listen. Plasma is not above the energy sword. Yeah. The grenade is mm-hmm. not above the sword. Sticking a warthog's tires is funny, watching it spin <laughs> at 550 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, no, it is. Fair. It's very fun. I just, there's definitely better options, I feel. Mm. Although it is Actually, a grenade, I guess. <clears throat> it's, I don't know. It's just, it's just also, suicide grunts weapon. is awesome. I yeah, so. horrifying <laughs> <laughs> with their stumpy little legs. Uh, Kabloompy gun B. B, it shoots plasma grenades, but they're oh, slow yes, and you can tough. just kind of avoid them. Yeah, well, great does, for vehicles a, again. Doesn't have a tracking ability as well. It, it does, but again, they're so slow that if you're like up close, you can kind of weave around them, and from mm. far away, you just see them coming, so you just pop behind a corner. Plasma if you want to kill, oh sorry. <laughs> oh, if you want to kill a player with it, you need to. Let... You also you cannot fire just one because they will avoid it no problem almost every time. You need to use a lot of the weapon's ammo, and that kind of holds it back. Hmm. Um, plasma pistol. This is a weird one because it's like <sighs> it's a really really useless weapon unless you're using it to get rid of elite shields, and then it's great. It's it's good for shields and like stunning vehicles, except they took that feature out in Infinite for yeah. some reason. I will never understand. Yeah. Uh, but I also don't like using it. I using the plasma pistol is unfun. It's good, but I don't enjoy using it. Yeah, I also I'm too Let's bad see. to use it. So it kind of it means you have to sacrifice a weapon slot for something that's good at taking shields down. And while that's amazing for the first couple of Halo games. As more weapons get get added to the roster, I feel like it becomes l- less and less relevant over time. Especially when you get to Infinite, it's like, look at all these many guns, and you're like, oh, I forgot this even existed. Whereas in Halo One, it's essential to have in your loadout pretty much all through the yeah. game because you're only going to be fighting elites as the main threat. Um, but it is what it is. The um, uh, plasma pistol is as good as ma 5 b and therefore should be a tier. Uh, what, that's what that's what <laughs> has been said. No, Best <laughs> ammo. I don't care how much ammo it has if it's not fun to use. And also, it can't do headshots, and it takes a billion shots to kill anything. So it's it's a time killer. Even if mm. you're like just trying to sweep through enemies, you could be getting so many more kills per minute than 
It peaks in CE, them. and then it's been only downhill from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, we got the brute shot, uh, the brute uh, yeah, and the uh, covenant version rifle. I think I they're above the plasma rifle. rifle or pistol. I mean, yeah, they're not, not above great. the assault rifle. No. No, I really don't like them. I know the brute I one is supposed to be a bit more powerful, but isn't I top mean... of isn't top of C tier closer to? Yeah, the yeah, it is. <laughs> But get the plasma put, pistol at the bottom there. Put the Head AR the on top right. of seats here before the really? chat loses uh, their mind. I mean, I, I must admit, <laughs> I've played all the Halo games since Inception. I hate this gun. It's just... Yeah. It's a lot of fun in CE, and even outside of that, I, I, I don't like it that much for efficiency, but it's fun using. Mm. I like the shoot uh, noise. <laughs> uh, I really don't like him. Where do you reckon it should be? Just bottom of seats here, I think. Both of them. No, above yep. the plasma pistol. Don't put it up below the plasma <laughs> pistol. Come on, don't I do this to me. the plasma pistol more than that, than, than those Yeah, though. but the it's the plasma pistol. It's not fun. <laughs> well, the ma- dirty the when magnum I pick is it up. stuck in A tier, yeah. so plasma pistol's getting stuck down at the bottom. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just, I don't like them because they do barely any damage, no headshots. Mm. These are the weapons I only ever pick up if I have nothing else to pick up around me, or I can't be bothered to just punch something to death. <laughs> But Chad, I agree that the, that the that the AR should be higher, but you OG know. plasma rifle is iconic. True, it's iconic, but it's not a good weapon. <laughs> I mean, the 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 assault rifle is iconic, but it's not a good weapon. It can't do anything any of these others can do. And that's kind of, that's why the BR became the most uh, the iconic weapon of Halo Two because they realized, oh, this is rubbish. We need this to be yeah. the 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 cover art weapon because this is rubbish. That's why they did it. Um, in fact, they had the dual Uzis ahead of this. You know, that was the whole point. They went, "Oh, this looks mm-hmm. cool, but it's toss." Um, what is that? This is the turret, the Covenant turret, right? Oh. Uh, yes. Pretty fun. B tier, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want to say a... it's something. Here? It's, it's like the UNSC or... turret, but worse in every way. But it's still a mounted turret. Yeah, yeah, it's a mounted turret. It's like these. It's useless at doing damage unless you're quite close and it's more powerful than a conventional weapon. So it's like, Oh, I'll just use this quickly. And then I'll go back to like having mobility, but it's fine. It's fine. Mm. <clears throat> um, Those are the weird a, four grenades. You, th- yeah. you, you throw that? them and in theory, they do something bad. <laughs> I think it hurts you if you walk close. <laughs> uh, but what I would do is I would throw them at an enemy and then they would go off and then I would die. Cause instead of shooting them, I threw a shit grenade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Baby mad mode engaged, bro. Do not fucking get me started. <laughs> I did mention the noob combo slightly, Mac. I did. And about how uh, yeah, it's like, it's uh, useful. It's just not fun to use a plasma pistol. Yeah. I feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, the rail gun. It looks cool. reach. I think it's in four and five too. I think it's in yeah four. I I, I, rem- I remember it from four. It's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, sh- bottom of A or top of B, I would say. Uh, yeah, one shot if you hit it, good, decent against vehicles. It's no rocket launcher, but mm-hmm. it's a good. It's it's solid. Speaking of rocket launcher, rocket oh, launcher, A tier, S tier, sure S tier. Uh, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a rocket launcher. That's, yeah, I feel like that's the end of the conversation. And that scene from Halo Two. It's like, can we possibly make yeah. any more noise? Any more noise? When what was the story of like they kept taking off and then putting back on the tracking ability? Like Halo 2, I don't I know they why tracking. they did that. I'm assuming it was just like a balancing thing because I think it comes back, but only for vehicles in some games. Like it's got tracking and reach, but only on vehicles, which might have been the case in two. I don't remember that well. I'm assu- <laughs> I, I've always assumed it was just like a balancing thing. Oh boy. Epic cool awesome <laughs> gobble guy says, I don't even know if I want an epic <laughs> rap battles to your list after the strategy I'm witnessing. <laughs> This is a trash channel run by trash <laughs> individuals. We're making some enemies today, it looks like. Yeah, apparently. I what don't even that? know what this... Oh, is that's that the, the, that's, the that's the Sentinel Beam. Yeah. Which is... It's kind of fun. A tier? It's fun to use. It's not the best. But it's fun. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I, it's I got a it. nice amount of damage to it, surprisingly, for multiplayer. It's got a nice range. It's very precise. No headshot mm-hmm. potential, but it does a lot of damage if you just keep tracking it. Yeah, if you can keep the beam on them, it's fantastic. If they move slightly out of the beam's path, you've probably just lost the fight, but it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very situational in that regard. Um, 
Shotgun. What's the shotgun? S-tier. That must be S tier. S tier. Well, be like here, surely. DMR. Dude, then it's, it's like I think that's like a Stargate Atlantis meme where it's like this is a weapon designed to strike fear and it's the energy sword and the shotgun is like this designed to kill. <laughs> no, I would agree. The shotgun beats sword and hammer if you know what you're doing. Not mm. hammer as often, but definitely the sword. Boltru is a very cool metal to get. Hmm. I mean, what can you say? It's a shotgun. It's great. It's a shotgun. You go, you pull the trigger, and whatever's in front of you dies. It's great. Uh, essential for the library. Um, what is this? Is this That's the, the SMG, the first one, I believe. That's a classic. Yeah. It's classic. Uh, if it's up there, the assault rifle surely must also be up there. Oh, uh, so hold on. Where, where are we putting this thing? Because I think I, uh, if the conventional I honestly one give it B. Is, yeah, that's the, ODST, the ODST one, one right? So I give it B because if you're not dual wielding it, it's a little underwhelming. But if you it's are, it meh. shreds people. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it should be, uh, like, because that's the only thing on its own. It's a bit shit. If you're dual wielding, it's great, but it's only great if someone is like in shotgun distance. And in that case, why wouldn't you use the shotgun? So I'm like, ah, uh, I never really use this gun because for me. Uh, it's only in like Halo 2 that it even shines and it was all like, hey guys, it's on the box side, it's really cool mm-hmm. and then the ODST one does more damage and it's a bit more versatile so I want to put that ahead of it sure. even though you can't dual wield it <laughs> I haven't played enough what would you say Colin? I think it's good there uh, Yeah, I put the, I, I'd put the regular SMG above the ODST one because I think the ODST yeah. one is cool because it's silenced but you can't dual wield it at least in ODST you can't Right. Uh, so yeah, what are, what are they saying? What, what uh, are... Y'all better watch your firstborns because of this list. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm just here. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> sniper rifle? Is um, that what that is? Sniper uh, rifle, right? Sec- sec- second in S. I have very fond second memories S-tier. of the sniper rifle because a video I had footage of me using the sniper rifle <laughs> is the first time someone told me to kill myself on YouTube. And I feel very <laughs> fondly about that comment. I feel very fondly. <laughs> I can't find the comment anymore, but I gave it a heart. And if I could find oh. it again, I would print it out oh. and like put it on my fucking fridge or something. They should. <laughs> they say never meet your heroes, but they should really say never let them rank Halo weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Tough stuff, man. I'm getting that. <laughs> Spartan laser. It's a great gun. Yes, great gun. again. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I know I can't hit anything with it again. But three four three for some reason refuses to put it into infinite. I don't get it. It's an <laughs> awesome weapon. It's so fun to use. Has it made an appearance since uh what was the last game it was in? I remember it was in Reach. I think it was in five. Was I don't five? know. Actually, I don't know if it was in five. I feel like it was in three and reach, and then it never turned up again. It was in four. Was it in four? Okay. Hmm. Um. Colin is doing research for us. Colin, you better be careful next to Warhammer Fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was in four and five. He's going to hand you a very strongly worded letter. <laughs> um, it was in mugged. five. Okay, so Mac, I can't remember much of five. It was so bad. Um, it was so shit. Like the thing is, even when I think back at things like Halo Five, I can't even remember what the levels were like. I remember the first bit where you're with the the gang and you're just kind of going through the snowy place, and that's the only thing I remember from that game. There was just no iconic set pieces or anything. I remember uh, the chief folds lock like a lawn chair. Oh yeah, I can remember the cutscenes, but I can't remember like the actual like areas of the game. I remember oh. one elevator. There was a level on a space elevator that it's a space elevator in Halo, so it gets blown up. <laughs> Stop trying to remember <laughs> Halo Five. Fair point. Um, brute grenade. It's like a plasma grenade. It's not even Spike. in my brain. I don't <laughs> but but even bad. Remember ever and using it's bad. It. it is funny throwing it in a bubble shield when someone's in it because the spikes ricochet around the bubble shield and <laughs> I didn't if not know kill that. them, or hurt them. It is. It is actually pretty fun to use, but it. I just don't think. I think it's worse than the plasma grenade. Otherwise, and every other way it's sticky and it can even stick to walls so you can do some cool like collaterals with it it's an instant kill if you stick someone isn't it yeah or if they walk on top of it but that's any grenade i think otherwise it has the lowest damage radius out of all the grenades if you aren't on like top of it should Mm. i put it below the fire grenade because it well there's probably better a a little above the fire grenade fire grenade is also in almost none of the maps in the games it's in 
So you almost never see it. It was like someone just made it in the dev team, and then they were like, oh, we have to put this in somewhere now. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Good man, Gary. epic, cool, awesome, Goblin Guy, real. Friendship with warning, Halo and Lore Crimes channel ended. Endless Space is my new best friend now. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get, lore? You I'll, I'll get I'll get the endless space on here someday. Trust me, fellas. What is I don't know thing? what that is. <laughs> Chat, do you know what this thing is? We don't know what this is. It's hard to tell. Endless space too. This would be nice. It must be a heavy weapon of some description, surely. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know. know. Let's put it away for now. I can't <laughs> put, tell what it is. Put it in D for now. D for now, because I don't know what that is. Um That's the Forerunner assault rifle SMG thing. Oh, uh, this is trash. It's, See? it's like it makes cool sound, doesn't it? It goes pew. It goes pew. I remember it really being inaccurate. pretty solid in four, and then I feel it. it was, it's a storm mm. rifle, whatever that is. Storm? What the I hell know. is a I storm? Think it, I think it was better in five. Oh, God. Now I know what the storm <laughs> rifle is. Fuck that thing. <laughs> I would like to look this up too. Reach plasma. Is that what it is? <clears throat> oh, it's the square one. It's this, but square. Oh yeah, this oh, that is thing. D tier. That was, put it I in D tier. This. That thing is garbage. <laughs> I hate this thing, and I forgot it I liked existed. It when I was a kid. You, using it is not fun. <laughs> like I feel dirty with the plasma war pistol. I feel <laughs> unhappy when I have that. I don't even know why it exists. They were just like, we have this. Dang. Why don't we make it worse and angular? <laughs> why? I don't know why this. So, we have a quota of guns to make in a new game. Ah, oh, I guess we'll just do this again. <laughs> but worse. Yeah. Oh, Sucks. Tom Warren oh. with two dollars with a hot take. Endless Legend is better than Endless Space. I don't know, bro. I do like Endless I Legends. Know what, I don't know. Bro, what that is. there's no one so. fallen in Endless Legend. Yeah, there's oh. no craters. Necrophage, I guess, but whatever. Uh, uh, turret S -tier. is A. Right? Great. Right? A if not S. Surely S. -tier. It's, it's up there. No, nah, I agree. S tier. S tier. It's uh, especially Infinite is the best the turret has ever been. It is an actual proper like deadly mounted turret. Especially an infection. Oh my god, you, you find a turret and then you're good until you're the last Spartan alive. And you're the last Spartan alive because you got to the turret first. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, even in the games, it's not that great. Like, I thought it was not perfect in 3. But your brain still goes, that guy is holding a minigun. I'm <laughs> fucked. Even if you're not. It, it, yeah, it, it, it awesome. psychs you out because it's a turret. Mm. Mm. Chad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this tier list made you sad. Uh, forgive us. <laughs> I, uh, for, for the last tier list, I wanted to ask, there's that power armor one, or there's just a Star Wars soldiers tier list. Okay. Whoa, well, I've got the, the, cool. the sci-fi armor one listed. Uh, shall we put it to um, the chat? So if I make a quick poll. So we've got... Uh, I'll just put two. So we've got... Uh, what was it? What were the two ones you got? Sorry. So it was uh, sci-fi armor yeah, it was tier a... list. Yeah. It's like just kind of... Not everyone. I mean, there's a lot of fucking sci-fi armor. Uh, just kind of like the highlights I found, like the ones I was like, yeah, that's definitely iconic. Uh, there's that, and then right under it was the uh, Star Wars soldier. It's a, they're both right next to each other when I linked them in general. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll give we'll give the chat a couple of minutes just to do that. By the way, I know some people were like, Andy, we didn't see a tattoo because it was too small. But there we go. That's the, yeah, there it is. That's the UNSC one that I've got. Along with my one from the Yakuza series, Gears of War, and what's the other one? Oh, and Metal Gear Solid. Got a Ooh, whole batch. I want to play Yakuza. It looks fun. It's so good. Check I got the uh, Boromir. the dragons. Boromir of the White what's Tower. Boromir. Yes, metal model. I secured third place in the Lord of the Rings tournament, and I brought home Mister Boromir. Can't Ooh. see him very well, but he's there. That's pretty cool, though. <clears throat> Me like you. Ooh, we got 17 votes on sci-fi armor. That's Crimson Glory. Yeah, I think it's, that's it's, even, it's looking like even after uh, even after what we've done, Crimson Glory has still donated five dollars. Thank you. <laughs> that tier list of pure heresy, aside from Carbine being a tier. Mm. Sure, I'm sure that, Crimson yeah. Glory also said, "I regret <laughs> ever giving you a super chat." <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, Tough times. Uh, I think I think yeah, that's eighty percent. I think that's pretty definitive yeah. sci-fi armor. Base Yakuza uh, moment. Yeah. We've never been more back. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if, if anyone's curious, I've got the. Uh, I could probably show a little bit of the uh, the dragon bits that I've got as well. Oh, so I've actually got the whole Sheesh. dragons going. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. 
It goes all the way down my back because I had <coughs> spare money during lockdown, and that was good. <laughs> uh, let's see. So screen share, and we've got the and sci-fi I armor. I got a Vegeta tattoo. It's most of my forearm. Nice. <laughs> so <clears throat> there we go. Uh, right. You know, it's it's a lot of Star Wars. I'll admit, still There's a whole a lot, lot of Star Wars. Wars. Uh, I think I also messed up because a battle droid is not an armor, but I put a super battle droid there. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's my bad. Right. Uh, okay. So where uh, I guess we are we just going to go left to right like usual? Yeah, okay, might so. as well. Uh, so we got our, our our bread and butter. So we got to be nice <clears> to them. We got Warhammer armor. Man. I mean, I think tier. Terminator armor is B tier. Really? You know? I like mean, compare it Ouch. compare it to like the iconic standard Space Marine armor. Hmm. It, it's yes. not. Yeah, there's a piece I mean, of the I mean, right. armor in it, bro. Yeah, sure, but that, surely, I'm, I don't care. About, I'm care about how it looks. <laughs> it is not above standard Space Marine armor. Uh, that is so much more iconic. <laughs> well, like, I guess uh, put it put it wherever. I guess I'll I'll concede on this one. But whatever uh, you put uh, it in, it needs to be below standard Space Marine armor. That is so fair. much cooler. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we just space space got here then. So if we have. S tier because they yeah. are iconic. They got the pauldrons. They got the the whole look. I mean, you're I not gonna like... like what I have to say. I I oh. don't think All space right. marine armor should be an S tier. Oh. Oh. You're gonna tell oh, me that a, a you're gonna tell me that a space marine is a, is as iconic as a storm as a clone trooper or a storm yeah, trooper. Yeah, he is for me. Yeah, no, like... not at all. <laughs> Hang on, uh, that's the whole thing. They're the poster boys of Warhammer, the guys that literally pay our bills. Yeah, all right. Um, Imagine showing any person on the street. You grab a random dude. You got a clone trooper and a space marine. <laughs> Which of those two are the people going to be able to name quicker? Like, oh, that's a clone trooper. Yeah, maybe. that's some they might big dude say, in armor. But yeah. they'll probably be like, oh, I've seen that before. That's that thing. And that kind of like is an IP thing. But I think they'd also be like, oh, that's pretty sick. I mean, yeah, but then they would go, oh yeah, that's Star Wars. <coughs> Easy. I don't need to think cool. about that. Tom Warren. But that's an idea. All right, I, you, Tom. Uh, all right, buddy. You, a space like to, read is not. Would you like to read Tom Warren's donation column? I would, because I saw the number he put in it. Thank <laughs> you, Tom Warren, for the two dollars. Don't worry, Colin. It's a simple mistake. Seven six two. You put two L's in my name. You made a mistake. One L. <laughs> Thank you. Get wrecked. Um. All right then. Uh, Mandalorian is this Mando? Armor? Is that all? That's a man. That's just kind of general Mandalorian armor. They're pretty that's iconic. Pretty cool. I gotta say, they're probably more iconic than I don't... Space Marine. Wow. Nah, put them in. What? Put them. Put them in A. What? Put them in A. Hang yeah. on. Yeah, A tier for sure. Mandalorians are like more popular than stormtroopers to an extent. It, uh, yeah, but they're not more popular not than like cool. clones clone trooper or one of the five hundred cool, different yeah. variations of clone like trooper the armor same. I put in there. <laughs> <laughs> but again, they're derivatives of Mandalorians. So yeah, it, it, that's yeah, kind of the point. Yeah, but I'm looking at the armor. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Clone Trooper's a pretty cool baller, armor and Mando. Boba Fett and Mando, Mando, and Mando are awesome. I'm just like Django's pretty baller. Mando I know. Be invincible. <laughs> the extra L represents I... the seven six two round incident. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> also, like how everyone has got like, put now, just put Colin. <laughs> Colin Stop bullying Colin stream. in the chat, guys. <laughs> Stop it. Um. Yeah. But you, you guys reckon? Eh, I think A tier. I think, I think it's really cool, I, I but it, I don't think it's space. Yeah, A-tier. I put it below Terminator, honestly. Sheesh. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I go that far. Okay. As you wish. That's okay. just uh. That's Rebel. that's like the rebel outfit, especially like in Endor. C-tier. I think that's personally just a guy. I never if, thought the rebels looked the, that cool. If you took the rifle out of his hands, you wouldn't know it was Star Wars. Just like, yeah. Oh, All right, game. but I have to say though, can we just can we skip over ahead a couple a lot of these? Uh-huh. Go to go to the right next to the first order stormtrooper, like third Whereas, from the right. Third from the right. This that, the Hoth Endor oh, armor. Oh so my cool. god, peak! So cool. That's S tier. The the All they did was change yeah. the color, and now it's S tier. <laughs> yeah, but that's now it's awesome. Cool. <laughs> Truly though, Warframe is the strongest sci-fi see. warriors. Do not do not say. I that think we need chat. to add an S at like a double S tier, because I think S tier is going to be very oh, yeah. populated otherwise. <laughs> All right, hold on. how about we do this? We just we move everything down a space. Oh, oh I don't like it. I don't like it. I, we can, we can, it. we can it. redo <laughs> it. We can redo it at the end. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, what's this? That's Fallout. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh. That's like the Fallout par armor. I put that in here. I yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's I what they really sell the box art on. But I would like. It's pretty it. cool. Pretty fun. It is. We cool. like. Uh, although, key question: Which is cooler, Enclave or Brotherhood of Steel armor? I mean, I gotta go with the Brotherhood of Steel. The 
I, I just think that's cooler. Enclave armor is also, they're all very cool. I mean, we'll get I just, the, some of the Enclave armor gets a bit funky, like with the big orange eyes, hmm. uh, which is a personal thing. I do not like as much as the Brotherhood of Steel armor, but it's still awesome. I know. I, I, I like the Enclave helmets more than I like the Brotherhood's <laughs> helmets, but I like the armor less than the Brotherhood. So if you swap that's them fair. over, hmm. I'd be like, that's perfect, but. I have yeah. played a little bit of Fallout DJB, so I just haven't really played through it. I need to, though. I know. It's good. I've uh, I've only played uh, the, the newer ones. So I played 3, New Vegas, and 4. Hmm. And I tried uh, 76 when it was on Game Pass and went, this is dreadful. I stopped playing. Um, <laughs> oh, the... Oh, that's these guys are great. I like me, these bro. guys. I'm not gonna lie. I think they look so that's goofy. gotta be. That's gotta be at least C. It cannot yeah. be D tier. That I is the that rebel I armor. Rebels guy. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I mean, I, I love them. I love. I love their the the poor captain who gets like clunked against the wall and his helmet hits the wall. He goes mm. bonk. It's like yeah, they're they're great. And this it's a simple design, but iconic in its own way. Just mainly because of the helmet. Um, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, come on, commandos, S tier, S tier, S tier, clone commandos, S tier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much of that is because you really enjoy the game? Yes, they're just so cool, though. <laughs> they're, just, they're just cool. They're so cool. Who's got the coolest? They're so cool. I accidentally the put game. them on twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the second one? <laughs> they're, they're, they're right next nice. to the scout trooper. Oh, well, scout right. trooper is S tier, by the way. Uh, See a little bit of that one. Like this one. The, the, no, to the, the left. left. Oh yep. yeah, that, I, I yeah, put them there. Again. That, that pickles hard. That pickles hard. That's how cool they are. <laughs> go there, yeah. Who's got the best armor of the squad though? Uh, Sev. Yeah, with the red. <laughs> Everyone loves. You know, him. George Lucas was the one who suggested putting that on, which is funny. Oh, that's cool. Huh? Like George Lucas. George Lucas has some good ideas. He just needs a filter. I, I, I know what uh, Red Letter Media said. They're like, he's a great world building guy. He's just not a great narrative guy. Like, he can make a cool yeah. world. Oh, yeah. He can yeah. do the little details, but he struggles when it's like, oh, I've got to make a when story. He, <laughs> when, he has un, when he has uncontested control of the plot, we get space <laughs> yeah. politics. Because <for> <laughs> <Yeah. hours>. even, <laughs> even the uh, the original trilogy were like oh, yeah. mainly other assistant directors. I can't remember his name, but there was like the assistant director was the guy who like basically made it so good and there were right. obviously different writers involved i need i need to say something the, the original the prequels are not good no. like Jeez. with the sequels having come out people fight over like no the prequels were actually good the whole time they're not they're good. good now revenge yeah. of the sith is okay the others like are revenge bad of the sith the other ones i, are I think revenge cool of the sith is fine the cool things for darth maul in the first I, one and then yeah. battle of geonosis and then you that's, just ignore but that's the other it. parts. Yeah, you just ignore yeah, you just pretend yeah, the other then parts have, then you have the rest of the movie then you have the rest of the movies and they're shit yeah, Dooku well, hired a guy who hired a guy who hired a bug <laughs> to go kill Padme. Yeah, my dog wants to come in. My dog hears me ranting. Dog camp, dog uh, camp. Pop, pop, no. pop. We need to see the pop. Yeah, buddy. Hey, that's wow, a different Athena color. Came down. Cute I can't puppy. see the pop from this camera. Oh, no. She ran off camera. Oh, oh no. Oh well, there was a pop. <laughs> You'll have to believe us. Athena um, is here. She's sniffing the blanket. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um oh the the, tro the, the clones the clone troopers them, from the animated series they're pretty cool eight here yeah. that's also like that's also just kind of general like the uh the mark the first clone armor yeah it's uh, space I guess marines Arc is troopers more specifically these guys too. Hmm. yeah i think i think the thing i did was i put a lot of repeats because i was kind of i was making this and the star wars troopers only at the same time so because clones and arc troopers are different soldiers in the Republic, but they're still both clones, but they wear the same armor, a little bit of overlap because of that. Mm. I mean, I want to like say that, that these these are kind of similar as well. You got, I, like, yeah, th I, that's yeah, what I was doing because those yeah. that one, the intention behind that was both like those. That's the Mark II clone armor, except the right. problem is when I was making the other one, I had Coruscant Guard and that's just general clone troopers in my head. So I put both of them on, not realizing that was the wrong tier list I did that on. Hmm. Uh, so that's Eldar. just like... Uh, I, B. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Uh, I'm only joking. Uh, I say B. As yeah. much as I love them, I have to admit they're not as iconic as like Space yeah. Marines or something. I, uh, I think for determining what an Eldar is going to do, they're much better than Space Marines. Mm -hmm. Since they all have color-coded specific armor. 
but Space Marines are they're the face of Games Workshop for a reason. Yep. Mm-hmm. Also, Eldar have still the old models, so uh, it doesn't help. Yeah. Got a uh, question in the uh, chat, by the way. Is is clone armor even powered, or is it just like plating? No, it's just just armor. Yeah. I right. think the Republic Commando armor is technically power armor, maybe. Well, I mean, at least with the commanders, you can see the visors light up and everything. Yeah. So I'm assuming they have a bit more stuff. Mm. But then when you look at like the original Stormtroopers, you're like, he's just wearing porcelain. What is that? See that That's rubbish. I see that Colin saw Kamenot's video. I don't actually know who Kamenot is. Hmm. Uh, so I, he's got good opinions, I guess. <laughs> are these uh, phase one clones, thinking... is what they're called? Right? These... Yeah, are these the first style? I really like them. Yeah, that's it, the it makes it makes one episode two a watchable movie. I I give <laughs> it the last here, fifteen personally. minutes. Yeah, yeah, baby, it may, it's it's worth it. It makes it's for good payoff. It's, it's worth it. I put them eight tier personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. What about these? Those, guys? those also, are those, that's the Mark II clone armor. Also eight tier. Where they got the different <laughs> helmet, but otherwise it's really the same thing. Mm-hmm. All I'm gonna say is even looking at these three. I cannot tell the difference what? between these armors. Look at the, look at the, the helmets. helmets are different. Yeah, the helmets are more like well, the helmets in episode two are a lot. Well, yeah, that's fair. And these are really small. Yeah. Oh, Crimson I mean, Glory with five dollars. It feels like thank you as always. It'd be a variant. A red letter media Star Wars episode one is the disappointment since my son. Sheesh. That's, uh, <laughs> ouch, ouch. I love I love their reviews on Star Wars and. Much I remember me and my friends went to Jersey to watch the new films when they're coming out, and they were annoyed with my assess- incessant reference to those episodes, me doing the voice like, Star Wars Episode One is the worst thing since my son. <laughs> yeah, I love those videos. I love those guys. They're so good. Um, I'm just thinking, should we get some of the other Star Wars stuff done so we don't go yeah, too sure. much on a tangent? Sure. Uh, is that all the clones we've done? Is that all? Uh, I think that's all the clones, stuff? yeah. All right, mm-hmm. so we got stormtroopers. So we got the original storm. Original stormtroopers are like beats here, I think. They're iconic. Maybe. Yeah, they are. Yeah, clones are but, cooler than them, but they still like cooler, it's. Yeah. You see it, and you go like, "That's a stormtrooper." Yeah, easy. Mm. Uh, the first one, like at the left, is also Star Wars. That one is also Star Wars. There's a lot yeah, of Star Wars here. Which one is that? That's okay. a death trooper. That's one from Rogue oh, One. I thought it was cool as hell. Those yeah. are so ones cool. are just like I talk in like a they they have like the the into ones just like yeah they just those guys were menacing sick. clicks mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we put them there yeah I d- yeah I think if if I called it power armor the tier list bit of a misnomer a lot of these are not power <laughs> armor but they're still Star cool Wars armor. trooper tier list with guests <laughs> <laughs> maybe <Yeah. laughs> a little bit um scout, scout trooper I love them I, they're S-tier. so cool S- uh, they're so cool they are they're iconic. Cool. They just went, let's take this and make it less goofy and more practical. Yeah. I don't even have a clone trooper army, but I bought I bought a scout trooper pack because it was the only thing around that I could get with prize money. It was so hard. Second mm. last MESPG thing. Uh, um, Snow troopers? Hoth troopers, A tier or S tier, one I, of the two. Everything Hoth is just cool. <laughs> Yeah, top of, top, yeah put, put them next to the other. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I was like, there's something about the helmet design that's kind of like, Goofy, but also endearing at the same time. It's like, look at my big, big face piece. Like, why is it so long? I don't know, but it's fun to look at. I <laughs> yep, don't know. He I looks like, like a, the Casper, the friendly ghost. He's warm. Marine. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> he's cozy. Um, uh, first order stormtrooper D tier. It's garbage. So freaking. Yeah. Bad. They took what worked about the stormtrooper helmets and then ruined it. They suck. Oh gosh. He's got that Wario mustache thing going on there. I don't like it. Um, yeah. And if if you like squint, it looks like yeah, Warrior's mustache with some sunglasses. <laughs> um, yeah, it really does. Sith troopers, they're pretty oh, cool. Those those Sounds were so I didn't cool. Play, and I didn't play that game though. I want to put I, them above clones, to be honest. I don't know. I, if I can... love the way they look. Pictures I, yeah, they're shiny. Maybe like the basic clones. Yeah, yeah I can agree. They they look yeah. really cool. cool. The shiny metal armor. And then I accidentally put guns. in droids and droid because who we can put in? I fucked up here. <laughs> Hold on. Well, these look. Um, these do look pretty neat. Uh, row below, mm. and we'll call it. Um... Oops. <laughs> uh, I hate this thing. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. And we'll make it grey. So droidica are fun, but they go in oopsie tier. And... <laughs> because I put them in the wrong tier list. <laughs> <laughs> Super battle droids, right? Terrifying in Republic Commando, though. Holy oh, yeah. shit! 
Yeah, they went from goofy goobers to playing the game when it first came out. And I'm like, I fear for my life. And I like how in Mandalorian, they kind of captured that a little bit, where mm. it was the flashback scene where, uh, is it Din Jaro? He's like running away from them as a kid. And they opens the manhole and it's just this menacing piece of metal covered in blood. You're like, oh yeah, they're supposed to be like, actually war crime levels of mechanical robots you guys aren't gonna believe it i haven't <laughs> seen the mandalorian yeah i only oh, saw i only it, saw a couple episodes too and then i, I watched the first i watched the first episode and went damn that's really good i should watch more <laughs> uh well yep. if, if you get around to it there's there's just a cool flashback and they're in it and it, it, it captures that clone uh, republic mm. commandos vibe where they're just like the killing of town full of people and it's like oh yeah they're not goofy robots like in the prequels where they go, hello oh, there, I'm a robot. It's like, no, they, they kill people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, also, there's some weird stuff like, uh, was it the uh, the second series of Mandalorian? It has the, uh, what were they called? Oh, it has um, HK-47 robots in it. Oh, dude, I love HK. Yeah, but it's, it's obviously like a derivative, but some of those are in it. And you're like, I like that. I like that they're taking stuff from the expanded universe and recasting it. Just mm. Star Wars D and D character based on HK. <laughs> Very cool. Meat bags. Um, uh, we nicknamed him Hostage Blender. Glorious. <laughs> 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 Odds. Oddster. A tier. ODSTs. Sure. A tier. Come on now. Where in the A tier? Uh, Pretty high up. above clones. Yeah. Above above clones. Yeah. I put them above the Sith troopers, honestly. Okay, <clears throat> but not above Fallout. I put him above Fallout no. personally, but that's because I'm not a big Fallout guy. Mm. That's fair. So that's my own fault. Uh, oh. Isaac, his suit, my boy. It's just guy. him. It cool as hell. Here. It is cool. It isn't like I love him. Insane, but I'm I don't think it's. I don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's as kind of iconic, a but in like a backpack. I mean, yeah, but like th that helmet. It's like you could show someone that, and they yeah, instantly go, that "Oh, that's Dead Space." <laughs> that's true. It is immediately mostly the helmet, but that helmet goes so hard. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame that the the Dead Space Two variant isn't on the list because that's also like a cool design where it's a bit more futuristic. Yeah. This is all. This is all like I, I'm like a plumber, and I'm here to like <laughs> get rid of all the like necrotic flesh from your to, pipes to be Whereas to be the, fair the, that is supposed job. to be <laughs> yeah right yeah but that's the point but then two comes around it's like oh i need like a military grade suit that like properly does it and like number three you start off playing as a soldier who dies in the first few minutes mm. and you get like a soldier variant and even in dead space one you get invaded by a bunch of like military guys and they're wearing the soldier versions like oh that's cool there's like variants but mm. i don't know nice. i, I, I want to mm, i want to put him above Mm. I can't. I can't. Can I? I have to put him here. Surely, if I'm being fair, it's up to you, buddy. Because <laughs> as much as I love yeah. it more than the Fallout Man, I think Ooh, he's more Crisis Nano Suit Armor. You're right. Yeah. That's a good one. I, yeah. oh, I've I always wanted to play I did Crisis forget on that. and I've never gotten See, to it. I, I, I didn't forget it. Right. I was going to put it on, but I've never played Crisis, and I don't. I didn't feel at all passionate about it. I still should have so put cool. it on because I heard a lot of people say it's cool. I just I really it does look it. really cool. It's just I. Where, where would where would we where would we honorably put the crisis I'd put armor? Him in a I didn't put it on here. It's got to be an A. He was in a lot of, about uh, crisis. He's in a lot of gamer montages back in the day. Yeah, I know Crisis kids. One used to be like the benchmark testing for if you had a good gaming yeah. PC or mm -hmm. not. Yeah, do you want to melt your PC? <laughs> yeah. you find out if it's good enough. <laughs> yeah, um, run Crisis and we'll figure it out. <laughs> but I I played it way later on the Xbox One when it was like cross compatible with older games, and I haven't played two and three, but I did play the first one. Yeah. And it was enjoyable, and I like how the suit has all these things. Like it can make you jump and land from super heights. It can make you go invisible. It can do all mm. sorts of like sprinty stuff and strength stuff. Like you can rip turrets off their their mounts. It's just a really good suit. Sounds cool. Um, story's a bit meh, but again, it's it's a, it's a game about punching people in a mech, in a <laughs> in a nano suit. So yeah, it's not going to have like <clears throat> a crazy good story. Um, it's Master Chef. S to your baby. Got to be an S. Looking at me, that's Spartan armor, S tier. Mm -hmm. Are we going to put him above clone? I would. Yeah, probably. Yes. I think Space Marine should be at the bottom of S tier. I'm yeah, willing to do that. that. Honestly, yeah. probably above yeah. Scout Trooper. If I'm being honest, I just think oh, yeah, Scout yeah. Trooper's cool. <laughs> Scout Trooper's cool, but he's do he's doing his best. But he's mm. he's got to be careful. He got um, he got ganked Star by Ewok, so he loses some credit. Yeah. <laughs> they beat him over the head with sticks. So like, that armor is <laughs> not doing you any favors. No. Um, Starcraft, Starcraft guy. It is just less cool armor from Space Marine. 
or space yeah. Man armor. Or that, I want to put something to say about that. Starcraft did not rip off Warhammer. They I, both I know, ripped off a... Starship Troopers. <laughs> I know a lot of people say that, but anyone in the chat, that Blizzard was going to make a Warhammer fantasy game with GW, but GW wasn't that interested in computer gaming because this was in like the 90s and at the time, computer gaming was nothing like what it was. Like consoles were pretty far outpacing it. Mm. And uh, if I remember correctly, like RTS was still pretty like in its infancy as a genre. Original uh, Dota, baby. But uh, so with that, they just kind of both parted ways, and then they both collectively ripped off the same things for the space, <laughs> uh, for the Terran space armor. So they did. GW did not. No one ripped each other off. They ripped off different IPs for StarCraft. I really don't like the design, though. I got to be honest. It's too round. It kind of just looks like it, toy. Yeah, it is very bubbly. Although I think in universe, that's because it's more of an environmental protection suit than armor. Yeah. Because, like, the mm. Terran Marines are as much like a first line of defense slash police force as they are a uh, military. Mm. Mm. Like, they're, they're like, the bottom of the barrel of society given weapons and told to guard. <laughs> mm. Oh, well. Um, what is this? Although, although we did uh, have a comment. Um, where was it? Uh, from Glass Laughter. Colin not putting the NCR Ranger armor. L tier list. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I did forget to do that. Do we want to do it? I, I as another honorable one, I would put that in S tier. Yeah, I love that. That looks design. so cool. Yeah. Um, especially that that scene from the opening <clears> where he's got the sniper rifle on the Vegas strip and he's just like, <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so good. Um Titanfall That's man. Titanfall. Titanfall. Pilot. I put I'd put yeah, him a solid B. I'd put I'd put him behind the Mandalorians. Yeah. It's just kind of like fatigues and a helmet. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's cool. It does its job. Obviously, the Titans are what you know grabs the attention, but the pilot armor is pretty cool. I wish I had the um, the pilot helmet you could get with a limited edition. Oh of yeah. Two. I need to one day see if I can find that somewhere. That it probably costs like a five thousand oh, pounds. Like, I want that. Uh, Our OG like that. Terminator. Oh, the... Chunky Boy. I. People say this looks unironically cool, and I completely disagree. Yeah, <laughs> but I love it because of how stupid it looks. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Like, was that Angels of Death? It was some animation. I don't remember if it was official. Or oh not. no, Death of Hope. It was in Death of Hope, game. where that chunky guy's walking, and I'm like, and the the I, shakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I listen. This is the goofiest thing, and I love it. I think we're looking at this. I think you're looking at it from the opposite angle, and I think it's the wrong angle. Mm. Like I don't think that thing is actually cool and imposing. I think it looks goofy. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks but I love it for art- that reason. Have you seen the artwork some people have made recently where like they've made it so the shoulders kind of drop down as like a kind of like a riot shield so they can shoot mm. while being in cover? And I was like, that's I an interesting not seen way that. to that actually is pretty cool. I've seen I've seen one recently where I was like, Oh, that's like a fun spin on it. But I was also like in the image, it's like the size of his torso, and I'm like, yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, it's a bit I would goofy at the same time. Give it like C tier. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I think like, that's fair every other hey. space <clears throat> just looks so much better. Yeah. Um, uh, and they, last is just the guard. The just, guard. It's just army uniform. B tier. I guess. Starship troopers. Scion. Even more Scion. Obnoxiously armor obvious. But regular. Armor there was, I wanted to put in a lot, like a lot of the guard stuff, but the more I was thinking about it, like. Krieg is just World War One. The outfit, Catacan is just Jack. Rambo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Although like, Maccabi and Janissaries, that's true. S tier and like the first board and stuff. Yeah, all of Australians like, for, for Australians go hard. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the, you know, I will admit there's a lot I could have added to this. As well uh, I was making it at the same time as the Star Wars Trooper one, which is again <laughs> why the Droidica and Super Battle Droid <laughs> down there. <laughs> Uh, Geek Freak, again with $2, thank you. Dread and Robocop armor. Uh, those do exist. Hmm. <laughs> Robocop is Robocop really cool. armor? That's kind of just, just his him, body. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Dreadnought, I mean, Dreadnoughts are S tier, though. I don't know if you if I count I mean, it or not. Even, even if Robocop's <clears throat> armor isn't armor with his limbs, it's definitely armoring his like remaining organs and face. So, so like his oh, eyes and his heart. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that? I mean, I've I've not watched the RoboCop remake remake because it's probably terrible. But there's a there's a scene I've seen where it's like he's on the slab and he's like, I need to see what's left of me, and it slowly peels away all his limbs until he's just like Ooh. some lungs and some organs in his yeah. face. Mm. That's that was such a cool. cool scene. Um, but yeah, as far as iconicness, I think the Judge Dread armor is cool, but it is also a case of like 
if you take away the helmet and the like eagle pauldron, it's just like not quite fatigues, but it's just like, oh, it's just riot gear. Mm. It's it's embellished, but it's at the end of the day still just, oh, I'm wearing this. Uh it's a bit meh. I, I will um, say I will I will take credit. There's a lot of things I probably could have should have added to the tier list, but that's okay. I, I, I kind of wanted to avoid bloat and it being three yeah. mu- three yeah. years long. Yeah. <laughs> like Arbides armor is awesome, but Ooh, how many people sick. actually give a shit about the Arbides? Yeah. <laughs> well, They're cool. I, I like, did I a video deny that. recently, and it seemed to do fine. I, but again, a I think that's amount of people of, do. I think the case is though that it was just one of those things where people were like, "Oh, these guys." No one talks about these guys, and so it did quite well. Um, and that's their their thing, where it's like, oh, they're kind of obscure, but not really, because they've been around forever. But there's just no new books or lore or anything to talk about. They just they, mm. they just exist, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but otherwise, I guess that's all of our tier lists yeah. done. That was fun, yeah. even though we've angered at least percent <laughs> of our audience. <laughs> that was uh, angry too. Listen, listen to chat. it is not my fault that chat has horrible <laughs> opinions about the Halo weapons. All right, listen. Oh, it... <laughs> Tough times. Uh, Thank you for still watching base, our videos, Chet. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with our apparently terrible takes. Hulkbuster um, versus Dreadnought? I mean, I don't know. Iron Man's pretty pretty cool armor. Hulkbuster's mm. kind of goofy. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a big egg. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the, it, it can fly, so it'd probably beat the Dreadnought for that reason alone. Yeah. <laughs> Flying pile driver on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I, I suppose that's that's it for us today. Yeah. Uh, would would we like to round off this uh, live stream with any more <clears throat> closing thoughts or anything? Uh, I hope uh, this will stop people from putting let <laughs> Colin talk about Halo Law for at least a few weeks and make Endless Space Lore the new thing, please. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, if there's nothing I, else, yeah, I think I think that's everything. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, we will be returning next week with the iceberg effect, I believe, where we will be talking about Beetle Daddy himself, Belisarius Call. Mm-hmm. Should be a bit of fun. Hopefully, I'll be a bit less ill, so that'd be good. Uh, and Hal should be back from his trip to was it switzerland he was in it looks like i'm skiing yeah. i assume oh skiing yeah. <laughs> going out and exploring the world and having fun we're getting, outside went, the we're internet. getting fnaf I world went, comments we better end the stream soon yeah i went skiing <laughs> go. once i ate shit oh i almost killed a <laughs> little kid the last time i went skiing it was pretty bad <laughs> wasn't oh. related to the skiing at all you just I like ran really into, i ran into him going <laughs> going mark 10 down a hill, <laughs> and his helmet was off, and he was bleeding, and oh, and his, his mom oh, yelled at me. It was really bad. This was like when I was. Welcome this was like five years ago. <laughs> five years ago, games. and I haven't gone skiing since. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, imagine going outside. Yes, exactly, DJ. But but yes, uh, thank you all for joining us today, and uh, have a lovely rest of your week. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. Take care, everyone. I love you long time. Mwah.